Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing, chat? It's great to see y'all out here. What's going on? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hello, hi. Hello, hi. Start. Okay, okay, we can start now. Somebody said start, so now we have to start, right? Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's been a while. What's going on, my friends? It is fantastic to see y'all. It was perfect. I had my window open. It was great. There wasn't too much light coming in. Then I hit go live, sat in my chair, and all of a sudden, just the sun, the skies bright open. There's sun streaming through, and now it's really bright in my office. So we're going to deal with it, and we're going to go. It's fantastic. Chat is moving so fast, it's breaking on my screen. Wow. Wow. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I forgot to open up all my donation stuffy thingies, so I don't even know who put that in, but thank you so very much. Where did it go? Uh, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. I swear. I actually know what I'm doing. Oscar, thank you so much for the donut, my dude. I really do appreciate that. Been watching for a couple of years. Now you really inspire me. I've kept me motivated for Minecraft. Going. My motivation for Minecraft going. Hey, very cool. Thank you so very much, my dude. Working on artwork for you. Yay, dude, big yay. I'm so excited to see. I love when people make fan art. It's so cool. It, it like that, that right there is that somebody takes the time to create something and use their talent to like share because they love what I do so much that it inspires them to create something that they want me to see. I think it's so cool. That just like it warms my heart. I just, I get so happy whenever that happens. So I, I, I'm going to turn this music down. I know it's a little, it's bumping. It's bumping pretty hard. So I'll turn that down, but that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Thank you so very much. Hi. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? We got, I, all right, well, I got to say some hellos in here. We got Florpy. That's a great first person to say hello to. Hi, Florpy. Silent Angel, how we doing? Shuffle, Snuffle, what's going on? We got Stressed, Stress Frog. Hi, hi, Toka, hi, how you doing? Alex, Lady Katza, great to see you all here. Got to take my brother a lot to Home Depot. Have fun in there, it's it's crazy. Home Depot, mm. be careful of the dads in the tool aisle. They're, mm. Sometimes they're just going to be like, hey, have you heard about this thing? And like, I don't even know you. They're like, but you could use it. They don't even work there. They just want you to buy the thing. But it's fine. It's fine. That's a true story, by the way. I walked, I was going to buy a screwdriver because I needed a new one for a project at the house. Holy cow. Salient, thank you so very much for the three months at tier two, by the way. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, I walked, sorry, tangent here, straight off the start of the stream. I walked into Home Depot and I went to the tools aisle and I, I think I was literally buying a screwdriver. Like I was saying, it was something weird, just something random, simple thing. And I walked by like all of the hacksaws, like the automated power tools and everything like this. And this guy just goes, hey, I just used this on a project in my house building a deck. I was like, that's cool. That's great. And he doesn't even work at Home Depot. He doesn't even he didn't have any official gear on, wasn't like a brand rep or anything like that. But he like spent a solid 10 minutes. And at this point, I like to egg those people on a little bit. So I'm, I like to play dumb and be like, I don't understand anything. And I'm like, and so I was getting him to show me everything about it and go really in depth into this tool. And it was so funny. And then I was just like, cool, that's great. And walked away. And he's like, so you're not going to get one. I was like, no, I don't need that for my project. I don't, I don't need that at all right now. I'm not building a deck. <laughs> and his face was just like, huh? And I was just, I was just i thought it was so funny i had a great time doing it i know that's a stupid story but it was really really fun it was really really funny uh english only in the chat please my friends i would really very much appreciate it alpha wolf how you doing jelly lily what's going on we got harsh in here we got lily Moore. we got blade elm daughter we got sammy what's going on squidgy what's going on lucas good to see you claire hello hello jay how you doing ender mythical boy bria conlin uh, da, 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 da. love your tangents thank you lady Katz. i appreciate that dark ruby hello how you doing jacob lewis what's going on my dude gabby what's up how we doing fans how we doing rendezvous what's going on oh my god now it's moving too fast nat i see you how you doing got my wisdom teeth pulled out recently dude, i hope you're feeling okay that after that happened for me i was down for like a week i just was like i don't want to talk i don't want to do anything i just ow everything is ow i just want to sit on the couch and eat ice cream and watch tv and that's all i did it was great but you know here clarice what's going on okay what's up clara pure wolf virus 
Hi, how you doing? Crazy Wolf. We got a lot of wolves in here. Spaghetti King, how we doing? Now the chat is in super speed mode again. I know. Anytime I start saying hello to people, everybody's just like, me, 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 me. And I love it. That's so cool. I love it. Tina, how you doing? Joseph, what's going on? Super Golden Mason. Hello. I thought that was going to end way different. Lizasaurus, how you doing? Thank you so very much for being here. Lovely to have you as always. Minecraft time. It'll be Minecraft time. Don't you worry. We got Ethan. We got Grace Jones. We got Moss. We got Jake. We got Jack. We got Jules. We got Tilar. Talar. We got, oh my gosh, it's moving to chat. I can't even register these names. I'm trying. I'm staring at the chat when I'm trying to see if I can even get one. Um, uh, Satanic Clowns. Interesting choice in name. And I don't know why that's the one that popped out to me, but it did. Uh, Winter Wolf. Hi, how you doing? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, hi. Joel, what's going on? <sighs> Santa Swift, what's up? J Grace Jones, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. All right, I think it's about time we jump on into the hardcore Minecraft world. Because we're on a quest. Today, my friends, we are on a quest. Starting from this humble beginning of my house. I should probably make the FOV something playable. The humble beginning, my friends, of I need a lot of coal. And by a lot of coal, I mean a lot of coal. I've been working on a new project. And for that project, I need 64 times six stacks of coal. Not blocks, thankfully, just regular coal. So. Everything I've gathered up so far that I had in my chest that I had not broken down is this right here. I've got a giant solid block minus this. We got a giant solid cup, bowl, shape, something. Here we go. Oh, Antonio, I'm so sorry if I missed that. Hope you can have fun with Gem on stream today. I, we're going to be playing on just the hardcore world today. Uh, Afterlife is something I really want to stream and I wanted to stream it this week so badly because it's so much fun being on there. But the problem right now is I died and I don't want to spoil the new origin. The new video should be out on Thursday. I just got the first rough draft back from my editor. So the new uh, Afterlife video should be coming out on Thursday, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And then after that, as long as I'm still alive in that same origin, I'll be streaming from Afterlife next week, 100%. Promise you that, as long as I don't die with the origin, which after you see the origin, that's up in the air. That's all I'm saying is that's up in the air. If we survive till next week, it's up in the air and it's out of my control. But if I'm still alive by next Wednesday, we're streaming Afterlife, promise. Big promise. Rip Pajama Ghost. Dude, I know. Pajama Gross. P gross. Pajama Ghost li will live on in our memories. It's okay. It's okay. But Antonia, if I missed that first... Antonia, if I missed that first donation, I do apologize. Also, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, everybody who's liking the stream, thank you so very much. We got 2,000 people in here and 1,000 likes. So please be sure to click that like button, my friends. It's free and it helps me out a bunch. And if you're enjoying everything, maybe consider becoming a member. There's my one promo for the first while. But what we need to do now is I actually need to get something open. I want to be able to record this so I can get some background clips of me getting coal because I like to get this as content. And I got I forgot to open up the second OBS that I can use that doesn't have my beautiful face on it so it looks better in the videos. But that's fine. Okay. What do I need? I don't need anything. We're on a quest for coal. And I want to get as much soak touch coal as I possibly can. And we haven't really raided these mountains all that much. So I'm kind of hoping we can just run across the tops of the mountains. And there's a lot of coal hanging out around there. That'd be the best bet. If we can do that, that's amazing. I forgot about him. I forgot about him. I forgot there's a pillager in there. When is Empire Season 2 coming? Eventually. Eventually. CP Lime, thank you for becoming a member as well, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... We're off on the quest to see if we can find some coal, which we've already got some. So today I want to spend a little while mining up some coal inside of this world, as mentioned many times now. And then from there, if we can get enough, I want to spend like a good 30, 40 minutes flying around some mountains, seeing if we can get a lot of it and maybe seeing if we can find anything else cool inside the world. Um, 
and then from there i want to break it all down see how much we got and after that i want to spend a little bit of time decorating out the farmland region and getting into the nether because i've been seeing a lot of people uh the person who actually got me inspired on this was i was watching vigo man he's a smaller minecraft build youtuber he's more of a conquest reforged based youtuber very talented builder absolutely amazing he's got a survival series he's doing right now and just regular survival and he's been using a lot of the warp forest plants just kind of throwing them in like the twisting vines and everything like that and i've been like i've been seeing it i'm like i'm in love with that there's such a good little detail block so i would love to be able to get to the warp forest today and see if we can't just mine up a bunch of that stuff if i can get a good amount of it i think that's gonna be really great to have so first step is coal we get loads of coal and then we move on out and we'll be doing all that stuff oh my gosh samantha you are right on time thank you so very much for the dono i really do appreciate that do you like the warp forest i think warp forests are so cool i i think out of all of the nether biomes the warp forest is my favorite by far no question about it warp forests are the coolest biome in the nether i wish i want to say basalt deltas but because of how difficult they are to traverse that they're just not very safe i tend to not enjoy them as much anymore like from from looks basalt delta is up there for sure but the warp forest that blue color contrasting with everything else in the nether going on oof, you can't beat it it's too good okay let's get we probably don't need the bed in the hot bar always i just want to see if there's some coal in this cave we're going to scope out the nearby mountains first. And if there's nothing really around here, then we'll fly elsewhere. Because I think I've I think I've think scavenged these a good amount already. So it just depends on what we can find. Boop, boop, wee. Oh, oh, there's a way out. But that is not easy to get to. Okay. Up here, maybe. Nope, again, through the ice. I didn't know that light traveled through ice that's new to me that's cool maybe we'll have to use that is anyone new joining empires no idea yet my friend no idea we want to keep empires very small empires is one of those series that functions best with less people to an extent like we don't want to shrink the size that we have because we want to make sure that when you're online other people are online and so you have to have a certain basage coverage of people on the server for that in order to happen there's mountain bees interesting um but we don't have any hard numbers i know we don't want to really go above 14 people last season we had 12 people uh and we'll we'll see where that lies if it continues if everybody comes back or what that's uh, powdered snow we're safe we're fine it's okay no need to panic stay calm very very much calm no panic only calm i didn't mean to place that down there but that's okay Should I make fan art of you? Dude, I love seeing fan art. If you make it, please share it with me. Tag me on Twitter, whatever you want to do. Instagram, whatever works. I always love seeing them. Nice nether portal room. Thank you. That was that. What'd y'all think of the nether portal room project? What'd y'all, did y'all, did y'all like the nether portal room for those who saw it? Did y'all enjoy that one? I thought it was a really cool build, but, and that, that thing was intense to make. What's your favorite biome in afterlife? I really, eh, 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 I don't really know. I'll be honest, Terralith, I have concerns about. Maybe it's just the seed that we got. Maybe, I don't know what it is, but Terralith, everybody talked it up so much. I don't really like it all that much. I'll be honest, like it's not bad per se, but it's not really something I enjoy. It's one of those things that every biome is so forced. It's hard to make biomes into something that they're not. So a lot of what I like to do in the game from like the detailing, I thought I saw a coal in there. Oh, it's up there. Uh, what I like to do in the game is a lot of like detailing stuff, right? And I can't do that in Terralith because the biomes are so forced on all of the colors that they have and you can't edit them and like leaves are weird colors in certain biomes. Like some biomes leaves are just like oak leaves are bright red for no reason just because they wanted to have a red tree in there and they obviously it's not a modded thing oh god the music there for some reason i thought i heard a creeper hiss and i got very scared 
equip casually killing people in afterlife apparently i'm getting credit for lizzie's death which is not at all true i think that's really funny uh <laughs> lizzie's death i had nothing to do with uh that was callum's big butt that shoved her off the edge there not me now jimmy's death i did warn him many times many many times many at least like seven times i said jimmy if you keep doing that i'm going to shoot you uh and he didn't stop and so i was like well i made the threat i might as well follow through on it <laughs> so you know gotta gotta be a man of my word over there <laughs> i thought it was funny though i thought it was funny he was okay with it too he was okay with it Favorite biome in vanilla? Dude, I'm a sucker for a good plains biome. I'll be honest. I know that's basic. I know that's so basic. But especially with like the new rolling hills that we got and everything in 118. Um, I think of I really think the plains biome is such an underrated biome. Everybody's always like, I like this really crazy one, but plains biomes are so easy to build in. Like, yo, plains biomes. Trust me. Big worth. Also, how is the lighting messed up down here? I've never been... I've never built over here. How are the chunks messed up? Oh, there's so much coal. Look at it. It's beautiful. Really miss proper mountains. The, like, old school Minecraft mountains? Those were... I hated those. <laughs> Original Minecraft mountains, I thought were one of the ugliest things ever. Um, I really like the new mountains that we get. The, the new mountains in this game, I, I think, are really cool. It's one of those things that I... Like, I have a favorite biome for looks, and I have a favorite biome for building in. My favorite biome for building in, for sure, Plains Biome, because I think they just look great, and the terrain is easy to work with. And you can kind of mold it into whatever you want. Uh, the colors across the board are very good, like, foliage-wise. Um, <clears throat> they're very basic. They're easy to work with. Favorite biome for looks... Honestly, I might say Mesa. I think Mesa biomes look great. I really want to build in a Mesa eventually. I've got plans for one. I've got plans in this world for a beautiful Mesa area. We've stopped by it many times on stream that just looks so good. But it's going to take a minute or two to get progressed that far into the world to where we start a new build. Um, what I'm working on in the next episode is I'm trying to get to the point where... I can get a new... I, I want to finish projects. That's what I'm working on right now. It's like finishing stuff. Because I feel like I keep starting new projects or I keep like dabbling in new things. And so I want to spend an episode just being like, okay, I've done all these amazing things inside this world. They all look great, but not like barely any of them I can call 100% finish. So before I start all these new things, I just want to be like, okay, I've checked the box on here this is done enough to be able to happily move on sure we can come back on live streams and like just detail some more and always add some fun things in places when i'm kind of feeling like hey let's just go check this out again um but yeah that's kind of what i'm at right now yeah for real for real uh, but Alita, 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 thank you so much for the two donos there. I think I missed both of those, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I heard the question. I did not hear the thing. Um, Ari, thank you so much for the donor. I really do appreciate that. Brent, they are planes bombs. I'm telling you, planes bombs so underrated. They're they're good. They're so good. Big worth. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. I don't want to lose. I don't want to die today. I don't want to die today. Okay, what do we got over here? I only got two torches left, so we have to be very careful with how we are spending them. So let's get this coal and get on out of this cave. Nope, there's more right over there. I'll, gi I'll give y'all a little light. I'll give y'all a little light. Let's just do it. It'll be okay. Totally fine. All right. So I heard the a new snapshot came out today, right? It's got chest boats and things like that in it. They always come out like right before I start my stream. So I just never have a chance to look at them. <laughs> but I heard it came out, right? Like, chest boats are now in the game. So that's cool that they actually added those. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Nailed it. Ow. Oh my god, I'm so close to being dead. Holy cow. I did not realize my hearts were that low. <laughs> just, 
I'm trying to jump up that block and I'm just over here like, ah! how close I was being dead. <laughs> Casually sitting at two and a half hearts talking about chess boats. If that's not a flip stream, I don't know what is. All I was worried about was don't look at the Enderman. Maybe since we're in here, I think it's chess piece time. just gonna get these real quick and then we'll get out i have so much glare on my screen right now because it's so bright outside this is like pure darkness did i get them all i think i did yeah okay cool let's go get those other ones Whoop. Yeah, give me out find your chest please i got i got i got i got we're good now we're good now we ain't dying today. We ain't dying today. More Afterlife. Afterlife video dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow, I believe. Uh, as long as we can get some final edits done on it. There's a few things I want to tweak from what the, from what my editor, Marco, sent me. Uh, so I'm working on getting those done. And then um, as soon as he gets it back to me, and we're, we'll probably be good to go for le release tomorrow. And then Afterlife stream next week, 100%, if, uh, if everything's rocking. So that'd be great. Oh, more coal. More coal. I'm just going to put this torch down here and then I'll pick it back up so that we can have more light. Okay. Now let's get out of here before I make a big, big oopsie, bigger oopsie than almost dying. Uh, let's go. Let's just, yep. Let's just, let's just go. We're just going to go. Let's do exterior coal mining. Shall we? We're up to one, two, three, four and a half stacks of coal so far. That's pretty good. I'm telling you, mountains, they're legit. Mountains are fantastic for getting coal. Kill the Enderman? Nah, we're good. Coffee shop with hidden cocoa bean farm? Potentially. Potentially. I think that'd be cool to do somewhere else in the world. I'll be honest, I don't want to put every farm ever inside of my world right now. Also, this is a planes bomb. I'm just saying, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool over here. Then you get the mountain backdrop. And then you're like, mm, 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 mm. Got a village on the edge of the mountain. Any coal? Any coal? Any coal? Coal, 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 coal. How we doing? We got 1,600 likes right now and over 3,000 viewers, my friends. If you have not already, please be sure to click the like button. It helps me out so much more than you can imagine. So I really, really do appreciate it. Anybody who can take the few seconds to do that, thank you so very much. You're helping me towards that 1 million subscriber goal. I'm telling you, we're getting there. We're so close. We're already almost at 950,000 subs. I was not expecting to say that at all this month. And y'all are making it happen. So thank you so very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you will not edit your own video. You paid, you will paid to edit your video. I pay to have somebody edit my afterlife videos. I edit my hardcore videos. Because the hardcore videos are just too much stuff going on. But I realized that the only way I could feasibly do more than just the hardcore series, which I really want to be able to be a big part of Afterlife and also with Empire Season 2 happening in the future. I'm not saying any time frame. It's in the future. Um, I wanted to find an editor to work with, and it's been fantastic so far. I think the video quality has been great, and it means I can give you all more content. So I think it's fantastic. It's very natural for people to start working with editors as your channels grow and things like that on YouTube. So it's been great. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's been a great, great relationship so far. Okay, we got all this. That's more coal. Good, good coal. Good coal. Good coal. Coal. Huh? <laughs> One. One coal. One more coal. Coal! Many coals. Many itty bitty coals. Coal. Oh, we're going. I want to start a Minecraft building YouTube channel. Any tips? Do what you want. If you're starting your channel, figure out if you actually want to be a YouTuber. 
There's a difference between saying I want to make cool stuff in Minecraft and share it with people versus being a YouTuber. When you get into video editing and everything else, it is much different, my friend. So commit to six months. Upload when you can. Don't hold yourself to daily videos. That's stupid. Don't hold yourself to weekly uploads if you're just starting out. Also stupid. But like keep a schedule. So if it's every other week you upload a video, stick to that. Just do something that'll work long term for you. And uh, figure out if you even want to do it. That's that's the big, the best advice I can give is figure out if you actually want to be a YouTuber. There's a lot of people who are like, I want to be a YouTuber. And then they try it for a while and they're like, I hate this. But I just want to play video games all day. And it's, it's different. It's not, I play, I spend more time editing videos than I do playing Minecraft. So just always keep that in mind. Hey, Ari, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Also, Agent, not sure why your message got redacted, but thank you for the donor earlier. I appreciate that. And Alita with the membership as well. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been really fun doing all of the edits for the hardcore series. That's why hardcore is kind of coming out every other week because I don't want to rush it or anything. I don't, I don't want to rush it and kind of skimp out on the edits. I really like doing the bigger stuff i don't really want to cut any corners on this series uh and i'm really enjoying the builds i'm doing i'm really enjoying those things i'm trying to make sure i don't get stuck in the bigger is always better route so uh hold me to that i'm not gonna i'm not trying to one-up every video with the next video that's something that's not sustainable at all it's just been kind of a big buildy session so i want to start doing some more techie things again and experiencing more of the minecraft stuff which is something I'm really trying to do is the hardcore series is my journey playing Minecraft and making really big builds happen in the pro in the process. But I don't want it to be just like, I don't want the hardcore series to be like, hi, I built this really big thing. Hey, look at this other really big thing I built. Hey, I also built this really big thing. I want to do more stuff like the gas farm. Yes, also very big. But like living that technical life, living the full hardcore life instead of just turning into a let's build. I don't want to do a let's build. I use Premiere Pro. It's expensive. I If I wasn't so ingrained in Premiere Pro with all my everythings, uh, like presets and everything, I would probably use something else. DaVinci Resolve is free. I would recommend checking out that. If I were to do something else, I would probably use that one. Um, it's basically the same as Adobe Premiere, but it just doesn't have a monthly subscription to it. Why Adobe Premiere is still $40 a month? I don't know. But it is, and here we are. It's fire. Thank you so much for the dono on that, dude. I really do appreciate that. And Shannon, thank you so much for the three months at tier two. Thank you so very much, Shannon. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad you're enjoying everything so much. You want to keep on coming back. What's your favorite thing about your texture pack? I really just love the foliage. I, I added, y'all probably can barely tell. This might actually be a good example right here. I changed the grass. I changed tall grass, this stuff. So you can see right here, you see how they're like different pixel heights. So we have that one is one pixel tall, higher than like, sh this is a pixel taller than that one. And then this one here is actually a pixel taller than that one. So now grass has a variation of two pixel, like from top to bottom. And I know it's not much, you probably can't tell from looking here, but I think it adds so much. How much coal do we have? We are sitting on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of coal right now. We're getting there. Coal ore. So fortune all this, remember? And that gives what? Three to five coal per if you have fortune three. So this, I'm, I, the way I'm in understanding it is every nine stacks of coal I get that's 20 that should be about a shulker box or a chest full of coal which is good and if we are trying to get 64 times six stacks of coal I can cut some corners if I want to and if we don't get all the way there that's fine um, I can make things a little bit easier but we'll we'll see. We'll see how much we can get done. I need to get some more rockets in the meantime, though. I already got a bunch of coal at home. I already had, like, 
I think I, I had almost 18 stacks of coal ore blocks just sitting in a barrel that I just silk touched from running around the world. Um, and then I got two stacks of blocks of coal. So there's another 18 stacks of coal already. So I've got good progress. Uh, the coal is for, I'm working on a super smelter. That's, that's, and the super smelter is part of finishing up a project. The next thing I'm trying to tackle, I don't mind sharing with y'all. I think it's a good glimpse. Um, the next video is going to be finishing the entire dwarven cave. I want to finish everything in the cave. So I want to finish the buildings going around. So it's a full on U shape around the little lake that we had created. And then I want to take it also on top of there. I want to um, like build more buildings. I want to expand the lake. I want to build a bunch of buildings along the edge. So it looks like it's a full inhabited area. Um, the lava farm is easier, but the lava farm doesn't work for the super smelter design I use. Uh, so yeah, I'm working on finishing the entire dwarven area. Like I mentioned earlier, if you missed it, my goal is to start finishing some projects. I feel like a lot of what I've been doing in this world is getting 80% of the way through a project and then being like, okay, let's go to the next thing. The people want to see something new. Uh, so I wanted to, uh, that's, I think we just found an igloo. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I love this. Wait. <laughs> This is a full-on igloo. Hi, buddy. Ah, oh, it's another buddy. Golden apple. Coal. And a splash potion of weakness. Yeah, we can. Sure. Sure. There you go. Shaky shakies. They can live down here. Holy cow, Shannon. Shannon! Holy cow, what the heck? <laughs> thank you kindly. Holy cow, my friend. Thank you so much. That was so thank you for your generosity. I really do appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you. Can we get some hearts in the chat if we can, my friends, for Shannon? That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got a lucky igloo right there that actually had a basement to it. And everything, it's a good day. It's a good Wednesday. Do you have a favorite super smelter or tips for building at a, for a new breadstoner? Um, thank you. There's all the hacks. That's what we want to see. Shannon, thank you so very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, the super smelter I made this time, I haven't used before. And it's one that you have to load with all of the coal before you can even start using it. Because otherwise it'll break, which is unfortunate. But I'm hoping that it works well. It's got 64 furnaces to it, so it can smelt a double chest in... A, it can smelt a double chest of sand into glass in 10 minutes. Uh, once you get it up and running, which I hope will be good. So, we will... I, I'll, I'll let y'all know after the video is rocking. I want I need to get start getting a lot of glass for other future builds. I want to start using... I, I really liked the foggy glass floor I made. I missed every one of those snowballs. So I want, I wanted to start getting more glass smelted down and everything like that. Um, so we'll keep working on all those things. I might need to expand the library and trading area for more glass out of it too soon, to be honest. But we will see. We will see. My thought was adding like another row like doubling the amount of librarians i have getting the rest of the enchantments i need because i don't have a hundred percent of them yet i thought that could be kind of fun and then also on top of that getting more cartographers so the emerald generation can go quicker because that's my experience farm right now for one and i can re repair about two tools per day off of it which is good if i just need to stop by real quick but when i have like a long session i'm there for minutes like 10 15 minutes trying to repair everything which is not the best you should try and find a Stony Peaks mountain for even more coal. Ooh, are those better for coal? I know where one is. Are those actually better? I don't know why I'm filling this in, but I have so much stone after digging that cave that I don't need it. How old are your dogs? Nova is a little over a year. 
and Coda is a little over four years. Actually, he's almost four and a half now. He's our old, he's our good old man. He's, he's very chill now. Coda was an insane puppy, like actually insane. The amount of time and we dedicated to just getting him tired so he wasn't bouncing off the walls was absurd so much like nova she's crazy right now because she's a year and a half old so like she's just big dog still puppy energy and she's still nowhere near we used to take coda to the park three i used to when i started work doing youtube full time i was taking coda to the park to run around with a bunch of other dogs Monday, Wednesday, Friday for like on a lunch break. So like 45 minutes each time every day. And he was still crazy at home. And then we'd also take him on the weekends. Every Saturday, we took him to like a, a big fun dog park in the area. And he would just go crazy every single time. Every single time we we're there, he'd just be sprinting around, running his butt off. And he'd come home and like sleep for a few hours and be like, I'm good. And I was like, what? What? Ow. But now he's lazy and old, which is fantastic. Now, when we go to the park, he just likes to uh, say hi to all the people, which is great. Green got a whole double chest of coal ore from a Stony Peak Mountain. Good to know. We can we can check that out. I know where one is. I know where I definitely know where one is. I should probably get some more torches too. I might have some in my. Like, this isn't going to have bad either, I will say, folks. The thing with video editing, and I know with Grian, how he records his videos, is he does a lot. Grian puts hours. He puts a long time into every single video he records. Um, oh, we're full. Goodbye, spider eyes. I don't need those. So if he's like, oh yeah, I got a double chest ore from here. I would love to know how long he actually spent getting it. Cause I'm sure it was not a short amount of time. Cause we already got this and we've been streaming for 40 minutes and I've not been that efficient. <laughs> what day are you on? 782. Oh, geez. Hello. I don't like skeletons. We're just going to get this and we're going to get out. Why is there always gravel? There's always gravel. There's always gravel. Okay, there's that. Any more coal? Dirt. That ain't coal, I don't want none. I picked up the spider eyes I meant to throw away, that's fine. Oh, it's bedtime. Bedtime. Wither Skelly Farm for coal. I'll just whip that up real quick. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to do a Wither Skelly Farm eventually. That's on the list, but I want to do the big one. I don't want to build that. I know Ian X04 recently came out with one that is making people go crazy, uh, where it's just a, you, you abuse spawning mechanics and the technical side of the game to um, get wither skeletons to spawn in a very specific corner of the fortress. And it's too technical for my liking. If I can't clearly look at a farm and just go, okay, that's how it works. I don't want to do it, which I know seems counterintuitive. I would rather spend the time and do something that's more intensive but it's something that's easier for you all to understand because I think it comes across better. If I do this very technical thing and be like, okay, here's how we do all this, blah, 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 breaking Minecraft. And this is what happens. I feel like that's very much like, uh, I, I, I feel a little like I'm not cheating. Like I'll still happily use TNT dupers and things like that. Cause I think those are pretty essential to bigger projects in the game nowadays. Um, so I'll happily do that stuff any day. But when it comes to like where you have to install a mod 
to your game to be like to see like bounding boxes so you can know exactly where to place a farm so that it does better that's a little bit too much it's a little bit too much yeah if i couldn't feasibly think of how to make it on my own i agree with you on that i'm kind of just like eh, maybe not but thank you everybody for in likes we got 3600 viewers and 2400 likes we're 1200 likes shy of the viewer count if you have not already please be sure to click the like button I know I keep asking, but I do appreciate it. Also, I haven't said it yet, so subscribe, please. I can check. I, I can check the subscriber count. What are we on? What's this big subscribes? The subscriber count is nine hundred forty-four thousand five hundred eighty-five. Wow. We, that's such a big number that takes a long time to read out <laughs> it's a long time i don't think i've ever been this way yeah these are new chunks i've never seen these before wait look at this village oh this is adorable i'm stealing the torches look at this little village you can tell i haven't been here because the bells are still here oh it's on the hill. It's got a little peak. They got this beautiful sea out in front of them. Imagine this has like a little fishing village. Oh, it's beautiful. It's adorable. Mine. 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 Oh, I don't know. You can, you all can keep that. That's, I don't need that. How old is this world? Day 783. We started back in December. Hello. Goodbye. No, okay, shut the door on me. I'm stealing your torches. There's no loot in this village, though. They ain't got nothing worthwhile. They don't even have animals. Fishing village. Definitely a quaint little fishing village. Who's this? Another stonemason? Wow, they really like their masons. Gathers hundreds of blocks of coal ore, steals torches from village. Nice. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Anything here? I don't need blast furnaces right now. I'm actually okay. I'm collecting coal to fuel a super smelter. It's one that apparently once you kind of load it with your fuel, you can just leave it and forget about it. And it's the first initial fueling. You need like thousands of blocks, thousands of pieces of coal, and then you're good. And after that, you just kind of trickle in as you need more. But the initial fueling for it to make sure it all runs and you're not wasting any is it requires a lot. So once I can get that done, we're all good. Will you, stop, will you stop double dirt one day to save time? I don't 100% do it. I know. Sorry. Sorry, sorry to alarm you all. Uh, there's a piece of coal. I see it. I don't 100% double dirt all the time, but I do find that if I plan on putting farmland in an area, kind of like what I did with the fishing with the, the, the town in episode 10, it helps me. And I, I actually, the double dirt makes it easier in my opinion to like come back and detail stuff later because it long term wise it helps with world leg and things like that if you ever want to break areas there's not as many lighting updates that need to happen so i don't know i'll probably keep up with it for a long time because i think it's worthwhile i don't think i'll ever be one of the people that fills in entire areas that you like if you like need to bring the train up i'm never going to be one of the people that's just like Okay, I gotta fill in eight stacks, like eight la layers of dirt to be able to fill, like make this all level to where I want it. Like I'm never gonna do that, but. I don't mind doing the extra double dirt. It really didn't take that much extra time. Maybe like, it maybe took an extra hour because it's quick to place in the two stacks once you get going and mining dirt really does not take that long. You can, if you have an efficiency four shovel, you can instant mine diamond or netherite you can instant mine dirt uh like this one here this is what i used the whole time and that was totally fine like it, it 
took it takes 15 to 20 minutes maybe to fill a shulker box of dirt so it's really not that bad it's easy easy mode thanks for streaming today i had a horrible cramp since yesterday hey tech kitty i'm sorry to hear that hopefully everything will get better here soon but happy to be here to help be a little bit of a distraction There's Markle. Markle. We're getting there. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. All right. This is how we get the coal. This is how we get the coal. Boop. With Mojang at an ocean village where villagers are nomadic. That'd be kind of cool. They already have pillager patrols. They already have wandering traders, so I don't know if it'll happen. But, like, it would be fun to see more things moving around the world. I st I'm still holding out for birds one day. I was kind of, when they teased the wild update, I was like, they're doing it. They're adding ambient life of birds. They're going to be beautiful. Literally, if they just made them drop feathers, that'd be fine. It'd be totally fine. I want to do a lava farm soon. I think a lava farm is going to be fantastic. I really think that's a good idea. Just question on that. Also, Kyle, thank you for the dono. I really do appreciate that, my friend. Um, lava farms. Do they work in spawn chunks if you're not there? Does anybody know? Because I don't know. But I've thought a lava farm would be cool because even if we just make like one that can hold like... I don't think I would use it for the um, smelter just because you can't deliver that to a super smelter with hopper minecarts, I believe. I think they do. Lava farms are lame. Why are lava farms lame? Lava farms are cool. Jono, thank you so much for the donation, my dude. I really appreciate that. Okay, we've made it back. How much coal ore do we have now? I've got this pile over here. I want to see. Yeah, let's keep getting a little bit more. I'm going to drop off these bones and things and then we'll move on. Get a little bit more, little tiny bit more. So if I come in here, we can drop off the dirt is full. We drop off all of these, boop, boop. Uh, for some reason I'm storing snowballs. I don't know why. I cleared this out of all of the coal ore that I had in there. Oh, there's three deep slate, but that's fine. <gasps> cool. I forgot some. It was overflowing. Another stack. I will take that. Thoughts on Hogwarts Legacy? I've never been a huge Harry Potter fan, so I don't think I'll play it, to be honest. Unless it's mind-blowing. Unless it's like the best game ever for non-Harry Potter fans. I don't see myself playing it. So, we'll see. We will see. Thank you. We had 3,000 likes. Yes. We've done it. I think the Stony Peaks are over this way, by the way. Everyone should subscribe. You're right, Lucy. Will you be an MCC in the future? I'll be an MCC again. I just not in this round. What are your mega base plans? <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, in this world, Megabase is kind of creating an entire civilization. I'm not going to have one base. It's I don't, Single player worlds, I don't think having a base is a good way to go for me. Because then it makes me build only in one area. But what I like to do instead is just spread around the world as I'm going. So I'll be doing some more of that and building new places. I'll, like, I'll show you... Right over on the far side of this hill. I think this is an area for a lot of coal right up here. Yeah, look at all that stuff. We'll be back for this in a moment. Right. Somewhere around here. Like, there's the jungle here, which is really cool. Let's just get this coal. But there's a beautiful, and I mean beautiful mesa biome. It is the most gorgeous mesa biome I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and I really want to build there. But I want to do like a lot of terraforming before we build in it. 
and really go crazy on like some custom Mesa cliff faces. I think it'd be so fun because I think the Mesa bound with already having the harsh lines with the colors, it can make it really fun to work with. Jimmy's here. Jimmy's here. Wait, I missed, I missed Jimmy's message. Jimmy. Hey boss. Hey, how you doing, Jimmy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. How was the stream today? Did you stream today? I can't remember. I, I thought I saw you streaming. Everybody subscribe to Jimmy. He's a good lad. If you missed it, we all played Raft yesterday. Me, Jimmy, Grian, and Joel. It was a blast. It was so much fun. So it was, it's always good times over there. <laughs> okay, we're out here. We're getting, we're doing the stuff. We're getting the things. Already subscribed. Cool, cool, cool. I think you get a free bubble bath if you do it over there. We don't get bubble baths here, but I think you get one over there. Or maybe you don't anymore. I can't remember. Also, Jacob, thank you so much for the donation, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was very fun. More stuff coming. Hey, very cool. Yes, yes. That was that was very entertaining. <laughs> Keep practicing. That's the biggest thing I can say is building is just you, you practice you learn little techniques here and there and you just got to keep you just got to keep messing around build up like a toolbox almost of like different tricks you can do with like like build up how to like figure out how to make an archway and then figure out how to build that in like different things wow there's a lot of coal in here um and eventually you'll have a bunch of little tricks that you can add together and you can just put them together into a really cool build and that's that's the biggest thing i recommend it's just like instead of thinking about the whole big thing focus on little sections of the build and add them together and then start figuring out like how styles line up and things like that but phantom thank you for the donut i appreciate that dude yeah if you miss if i miss your question i do apologize my friends there are three thousand people in here it's a, it's a busy day you read my dono? Uh, I don't see one from you. Did I miss it? Oh, Oscar. Oh, no, I did it. Uh, I need an answer for the artwork I'm working on. What is your outfit on Afterlife? Uh, the Pajama Ghost you can check out on there. The new one will be in a video tomorrow. There's, I'm, I'm, doing a, I'm trying to do a new skin for each life on Afterlife because I think it's fun. I think it's cool. What biomes are you planning to choose in the next season of Empires? Um, I don't know yet. I've got a rough idea. I've got a rough idea of what I want to do. Also, please don't be a troll in chat. There's no need to do that. You can go find many other places to be a troll on the internet. Please don't do it here. We have good vibes. We like to keep good vibes going. We don't need bad vibes. Um, I've got an idea of the character I want to play on Empire Season 2. I don't at all know about the base or anything like that that I want to do. And no, I'm not telling you anything about the character you all can wait and this time because i know so many of you so many of you i want to say you've ruined it by the way we know we we are very aware you all are name emceeing us like crazy to figure out when we upload a new skin for a series so i will confirm right now i am going to get probably seven skins commissioned for empire season two and upload them all at the same time. Totally different things. Every, everything will be in there. And none of you will be able to... I'm going to do them all. I'm going to make sure I'm always logging out of different skins. Logging back in on different ones. I'm going to change it constantly. So none of you can figure out what's going on. Because I know you all. I know you, chat. You viewers are... The, the viewers, they never want a good surprise. We have the lengths we have to go to to surprise you all with fun, happy things. Also, whoever said come to this biome for coal, you're right. You're right. It's insane. Good solution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scott tried it in uh, his new Afterlife one, and it worked really well. Uh, and everybody's like, what is he? He's changing this. He's changing that. What is he doing? <laughs> I'm just like, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. It'll be good. It'll be good. Do you know what origin Lizzie has? I do. She 
She also put a video out on it. I believe. Unless she died again. Did she die again? I don't think she did. But I know everybody's origin before you do. <laughs> Why do you have a skin similar to Sausage? Um, we use the same artist. Zombini, she's fantastic. And Sausage and I both wanted a character with a beard. Because we both have beards IRL I know amazing we're very we're very very unique about how we do it um <laughs> and there's only so many ways you can put a beard on a character that doesn't look like it's giant and bushy um so it just happened the way it did but it's fine I don't mind we got it's not like we're both have same color hair I mean I have I'm a redhead and he's got dark dark hair so it works out perfectly. Thoughts on the Guardian of the Galaxy game? I honestly haven't even heard of it. I, um... Okay. I don't really follow gaming stuff all that often. I've got my little, like, categories I like to dwell in. And outside of that, I'm just kind of like, yeah, things are happening. Things are releasing. I don't know. I usually hear about them when... Like I, the first time I heard about the Harry Potter game actually like becoming a thing, I was talking with Jimmy and Grian earlier this week and they were really excited about it. Uh, and that was the first time that I had even heard that it was releasing or that there was even news on the game. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not huge into a lot of those games. Right now on my list, I've been obsessed with Lost Ark because I'm a, I love it. I love a good MMO game. Uh, and so I've been playing that a lot. For those who play Lost Ark, I just hit tier three. Pretty pumped. Um, and then I want to pick up Elden Ring. I've been meaning to play it. I've got, I I bought the game and I've been so obsessed with Lost Ark that I'm like, I kind of want to get through this Lost Ark obsession and then I'll jump into Elden Ring and do that. But I also, have any of you tried Core Keeper? It's a new game on Steam that came out. I really want to play it and I kind of want to do a stream of it and like invite some people Jimmy, if you're still in here, I'm very inspired off of what you've been doing. And I would love to get like a group just together for a day and do like two and a half hours of just like play Core Keeper. Whoever wants to stream can stream and do their own thing. I think it'd be a really fun game. Hey, Shannon, it happens every stream. It's all, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's in the bingo card for a reason. <laughs> Thank you again for the donut. I really do appreciate that. Also, the Oracle of Delphi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for becoming a member. I'm sorry I missed that one earlier. I do apologize. Also, John Broom. I missed this one. Thank you so much for the donut. Why are they, Why am I just like not hearing these? I'm just on tangents. I'm just like doing my own thing over here. We almost have a shulker box of coal ore. I love this. Really was not expecting to gather coal for an hour, but here we are. Why do I not see the enchantments on your tool? Texture pack. They're here. They're all enchanted. You can see a purple glow. If you look at it, you see the little bit of purple on the handle right now. Right now. It's still there. I just don't... I don't want to look like Thanos. I don't want to be a purple blob all the time when I'm playing Minecraft. So I turned it off. Like, you can still see it going through. Like, right there. Bam. I just don't like being a giant purple blob. We should put your wait, what was that? your fan art. Where should we put your fan art on behalf of the community? Uh, tag me in, oh, on Twitter. And tag, if a bunch of people are part of it, make sure you tag everybody who like contributed to it. Or there's an art channel in the Discord. And you can, if it's fan art, you can tag me in there. I don't mind. Um, I don't have a water bucket, do I? But I can get a water. What's up? What's up? There's water here. You almost hit the bee, dude. I would. I needed two honey blocks for this farm I'm, I'm, for the super smelter I'm making, and 
I almost died to bees trying to get two honey blocks because I had to go manually get them with the bottles because the honey farm I have is only um, for honeycomb. It was rough. Quite scary. Would not recommend. Also, the scroll wheel on my mouse is broken. So if you see it like going back and forth a bunch, that's why. Like if I'm like scrolling one way right now and it's like going backwards sometimes or it's just like not moving. Big, big pain in the butt. When are you thinking about doing a nether hub? So the nether hub, I have the plan. I've already drafted the plan. I just don't know if I'm ready for it. The nether hub is a big grind. It's a big grind. Because I want to do something really cool with it. I've got an idea. And I don't want to do it only on the roof of the nether. I ordered a new mouse this yesterday, actually, so I'm getting I, a new one's coming in. Oracle, thank you so much for the donut. I really do, really do appreciate it. Don't know what to do. Uh, advice, please. Honestly, when I get started, the first thing I try and do is just it, as stupid as this sounds. You're probably like, no, duh, flip, you duh. This the Minecraft advancement tab. Going through all of this until you get up here and you get to the end. It's so big, but the way that you can make it different is like what I like to do is take a step out of each of these. I kind of like do all of this up to here, up to there, and then like probably through the diamond route. Like that's my, my step one. And then I like to make a house so I can store all the stuff I've got along the way. And then you make an area for your enchanter. And then you make an area for whatever else you want to do. What I've really tried to embody is everything, every single thing in Minecraft that I'm making or that I'm doing or that I'm building or I need a farm for, there's a journey to be taken to get there. And that's really something I've tried to embody in this new, se in this hardcore series that's still kind of new. We're only like, I'm working on episode 12, so I feel like it's still a new series. But what I've learned to enjoy and love about this game is the journey to get there. So like, how can I go about getting resources to make this happen? So like, say I'm working on like um, the nether hub let's, or the nether portal that I made. I had to make a journey out of finding how to get like, okay, so I made my list of blocks. I had my grocery list of what do I need to do in order to build this portal and make it really cool. Okay, then how do I get those blocks? Let's say crying obsidian that needed piglin bartering. That's the only reasonable way to get a decent amount of crying obsidian. And even at that, that's rough. That was a lot of ugh, ugh, headache, headaches everywhere. But that led me to be like, okay, now I need a piglin bartering area. And what do I need to do to get piglin bartering going? Okay, so I need some gold in order to do that. And also need to make a little farm to trap them in an area. So that's going in there. What do I need to do to get that farm going? Okay, I need some redstone resources. I also need to just generally get to the nether. I also need to trap some piglins. For that, I'm going to need name tags so that they don't despawn. You can kind of see where it goes. So pick, after you get your base stuff set up, you get your house, you get your little enchanting area, you get your storage room, you get a little area for smelting. Get another portal probably so you can do it. Go get your elytra so that you can fly around more easily. And then from there, you just kind of keep moving forwards. Is Gemini Tay your sister? No. She lives in Canada. She lives on the far, literally being in North America, but like almost the farthest point you could be. No, not related at all. Just friends. <laughs> no, that's weird. But uh, do you have a sister? Uh, I will soon have a stepsister. My mom's getting married. And the person she's marrying has a, a daughter. So I will soon have a stepsister. So bam, there we go. We got that. I got a uh, older brother and a younger brother. Um, and yeah, big old family keeps on and growing. No, don't make those jokes. Don't make those jokes. We don't need any of those jokes. Remember, this is family friendly. All right, there we go. <laughs> now we can, uh, yeah, we can just ban them all. Ban them all. <laughs> 
Mods, if anybody makes a step anything joke, debate them. Get them out of here. We don't need that. I'm also getting married this year, too. So there's that. It's a big, big year of weddings. Mods, full permission to ban them. <laughs> hey, Kyle, thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate that, my dude. Glad you're enjoying everything so much. That's a good collection of series right there. Excellent people on every single one of them. Yes, I'm, I'm, a. Uh, I'll be getting, uh, Jimmy's still in chat. I see him with the haha. -ha. He's coming out. He's, he's flying out for the wedding. Oh, that's, uh. That'll be the first time I ever got to meet anybody that I uh, do any YouTube stuff with. The people that I record videos with, I've never met IRL. Uh, so it'll be really fun. A lot, a good amount of them are coming out for the wedding. So it'll be really cool. Why is everybody asking about Hermitcraft? Dude, it's inevitable. It's like you... Hermitcraft is one of those things where like, if you have any amount of following on YouTube in Minecraft, and or you do any sort of larger building project or you're just like a survival player everybody's like hermit craft have you could you could you join her hermit craft her her hermit craft have you have you heard of can you join can please please like I, I it's a really cool series there are a bunch of excellent people on there but i'll be honest i am so happy with what i've got going on right now Joel and Lizzie are invited as well. I believe they're coming. Jimmy and Kirsty are flying out. Uh, Jem is flying out. Sausage is flying out. Um, Scott is coming. And Lizzie and Joel. I believe that is the squad. I'm so excited to meet Sausage like IRL I think it's I think that's gonna be hilarious <laughs> I I hope he's the exact same that's that's my that's my hope <laughs> I hope he's the exact same because he's such a goof let's go check this mountain right over here then I want to find that mesa that I was talking about a little earlier I think it's right over the far side of that jungle cool 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 What's your Instagram? I believe there's a link in the description. It's Flip official. Because somebody took Flip and tried to make a fake account with it. New origin on Afterlife is... Sorry, it just it gets cut every single time I try saying it. Just, I don't know what happens. Anytime I try telling you the new origin of Afterlife, it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't have, it just doesn't happen. I just, it's just anytime it just gets redacted right away. I can't tell y'all. I really, I really want to let y'all know that the new origin and Afterlife it just, I, I'm trying. Chat, I'm trying. I just, I don't know why it keeps happening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's full. <laughs> That's okay. It's, it's full. Okay, let me go show you all this thing. Then we got to stack all this coal up. I was not expecting to mine coal for an hour, but here we are. But look at the red sand right down here. The red sand desert leading up to this most gorgeous sight I've ever seen in a Minecraft world. This Mesa right here. What I want to do, what I'm going to do eventually, if we survive this long, we carve the river throughout here, make it even larger. We replace all the red sand with regular sand and we custom build all of these cliffs but look at this is this not the coolest mesa spawn ever a jungle coming down the edge of a mesa like bamboo coming all the way down to the valley we've got a second plateau a river running through the middle 
your pickaxe? I know. We'll go we'll go get it repaired. We gotta chop all this coal down. I hope we got plenty of time to repair the pickaxe. Don't you worry. But look at this thing. The jungle, and then it comes out over here. We can turn this into like a little lake. We can even, if we want to expand the terraforming into that, we can do that. But I'm gonna only focus on these two first. It's like this big old face along here. I don't want to do a Wild West town. I want to do not really Adobe style, but kind of um, something more along the lines of Adobe style, but I haven't really sorted it out yet. That's a project for way down the road. Before that, I've got, I want, I want to finish the tree. The tree is going to be a big thing. The tree needs to be done so that I can start building the city because I want the tree done first because I don't want to build the city too close to the tree and then me need to break buildings and move them. Um, next video for Afterlife should be tomorrow. Your hands move every time you reject your voice. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. It's just anytime I try and tell you Afterlife new origin. It I don't I don't know. What to tell, I'm trying to tell you that the new origin is. But it's just like it doesn't. It won't let me. It just, I, I can't, I didn't see. I'm just hands off. It's, <laughs> it's just, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm really trying to tell y'all. You reveal your real name. I've mentioned my first name and that's about all I'm going to be telling you. That's okay. How do I get your texture back? Become a member. My text pack's available for members um, because every anytime I've made anything I ever put public, it's instantly pirated and then other people try and sell it. So I've given up on doing that and uh, I would prefer just to keep it small. If people really want it, it's five bucks. You become a member once and then you get it. <laughs> Both hands up. All right, let me put my foot on top of the desk. I'm not that flexible. I'm not even going to try it. Um, Okay, let's place all this coal down. I'm gonna do a quick relog here real quick. There's a witch. What re reveal when? Psh, never. Because I always wear slippers. So my feet are always really cold. How many hours do you have on this world? Number of deaths zero. Woo, yay, haven't cheated. Look at that, wow. The amount of people since I started doing these bigger projects, they're just like, Flip's cheating. He's cheating. Oh, we passed a week of play time. Seven days survive. Seven times 24 is... 140 plus seven times four, which is 28. 168 hours. Did I math correctly on stream? Did I stream math that well? Did I do that? Hey, Sinful, thank you so much for the donut. I really appreciate that and the kind words. That's really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Math is hard. Dude, math is difficult. I'm just gonna relog. Great math, it's 168. Quick math. Afterlife tomorrow. Should be tomorrow. We gotta finish placing all of the coal. What is the Minecraft afterlife? Um, it's a thing. When are you gonna do an office tour? I could do an office tour. Would y'all want to see one on the second channel? Would that be worth? I've got some stuff up in my office that now that could be kind of cool. I don't really have a great, the problem is I just use my phone if I'm recording those things. I don't have a camera to record anything with. So maybe I'd have to get a camera. I've been meaning to pick one up if I, cause 
I have a GoPro, but it's like a fisheye lens, and that wouldn't work out too great. Show us your dogs. They're chilling downstairs right now. My fiance went into the office today for the first time in a very long time for her job. Uh, and so Nova this morning, I sent Sid a text at like right before I started the stream. And I was like, if Nova were to howl half as much when I leave the house, I really would know that I'm loved. Nova has the saddest howl anytime Sid leaves and like goes to work or just even leaves the house for more than 20 minutes and like takes the car. Nova gets this, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And just like, oh, and just like sits at the front door, sobbing, staring at the ground, just, oh, whoa, whoa. It's the most adorable thing, but I'm just like, I know I'm, I know I'm second. I know, I know for a fact I'm second when it, when it comes to Nova. I, there's no way. There's no way I'm even in top consideration for number one. Nova's a husky, yeah. She's half Malamute, half Siberian. She's our one-year-old. She's our little baby. What's the purpose of the coal gathering? Uh, I need lots of coal for smelting. What am I building? The j biggest pile of coal ore you've ever done did see. The extra pack I'm using is available for members, patron supporters, and lasting Twitch subs. Uh, you can get it in the Discord if you are one of those people. Link your account. Yeah, get it in there. You have a cat? Uh, I've only had two cats in my life, and they are both when I was really young growing up. I had one that was awesome. His name was Freezy. Because my parents, before I was even born, they found him, like, or he found them and decided he was living with them. He was a stray before and just decided one day to show up at the house and never left. Uh, so his name was FC for free cat at first, and then it turned into free C. And then there's also another ish iteration of FC that I'm just not going to say, but if you get it, you get it, uh, that my dad called it for a good while. <laughs> and then, yeah, so we had that one. That, that cat was really cool. He was a really, really good kitty. He was, uh, had white socks and then had like a half black, half white face that like straight down the middle. And then his entire body otherwise was black. It was really, really pretty. Forking cat. Yeah, forking cat. That's, yeah, that's what it is. When are you doing the tree? I'm working up towards it. I kind of wanted today to spend some time gathering acacia wood because we need a lot. I need like 80,000 acacia wood, not logs. Uh, probably more like 10,000. 20, I think 10, 20,000. If I get like four shulker boxes full of acacia, that'll be fine. Because I want to start, I want to do like other blocks as like darker shadow tones and then like lighter tones as like, which will be kind of hard to do, but I want to incorporate some light gray concrete powder into it. So hopefully it won't be too rough. What is the tree? Well, my friend, I want to build a giant world tree up on top of this mountain because it's kind of lower peaks around everything in here, but it's also like center of the valley. So I want to make a huge tree that goes like all the way up into the sky near world height. Thinking like Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, I always mispronounce it. Level of tree, I think it'd be really cool. I've got an idea in mind. I wanna, I wanna copy how they portrayed it in God of War, where the middle is like shattered, and use a bunch of like stained glass to like stitch it together with magic. Because otherwise, we're just gonna have a giant blob of tree going all the way up. I don't think it'll look that great. Uh, so I wanted to find a way that we could not just have blob of acacia wood going bottom to top and we can give it some more life and action i use a corsair uh scimitar i believe for the mice mouse <clears throat> good times a scar level tree i think it'd be bigger than any tree he's built so far at least this season for sure but yeah scar is scar is a very good tree builder for sure are you colorblind i am yeah 
I just ordered new glasses. I'm super pumped about them. But they don't get here till April 5th. And that is like two weeks away. And I'm very sad. How long did it take to get this much coal? We've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes, so. We got the entire shulker box and then we're placing it all back down. At least when we're mining it, I do have haste two here on a beacon. So that it'll be quicker. Like Jerry's tree from Captain Sparkle's old series. I've got no idea what that is to be honest, I'm sorry. I did not start perusing Minecraft YouTube until, until I became a YouTuber. Which is funny because I feel like most people that become YouTubers are like, oh yeah, I should like check out like, oh, I love watching Minecrafters. I also like Minecraft. Maybe I should become a Minecraft YouTuber. No, I just, I really don't know when those dots connected for me of, oh, I want to be a Minecraft YouTuber. It was just kind of like, I love building things. I like making things. Maybe there's an audience out there. Like Minecraft's a really popular game, right? and decided to give it a shot because I just loved building so much. And so I became a creative builder at first and just wanted to have a way to share what I had made with people. Um, and then it turned into this. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what um, was on Minecraft YouTube before I ever started. And I always hear things from like talking with Lizzie and Joel and Jimmy and Scott and all them who are like really long time YouTubers. It's uh, there's so there's been a lot of phases of YouTube on or Minecraft on YouTube that I just didn't even know existed. Like sometimes I'll go to them with an idea, be like, what do y'all think about this? And they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I did that a few years ago and it didn't pan out too well. Or, oh, yeah, that trend already happened years ago. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> When's the wedding? Later this year. End of summer. There's probably going to be a month or so where I'm not online because wedding. Don't worry, we only have three stacks left to place down. Middle mouse click on Java Edition will... Like, if you click down on your scroll wheel, it'll... It's a pick block key. warming activists probably wouldn't like all this coal. It's a good thing we're in Minecraft. It's a good thing we're in Minecraft then. block that is a block of coal <laughs> uh. okay holy guacacoli that didn't that worked better in my head than it did coming out i apologize for that terrible pun Very terrible. Very, very bad. I do apologize. How do you make the record icon on the replay mod not be there? Record icon? Oh, I, what, I don't know why I said record. Uh, you go into the replay mod settings. It's in the settings. You can find it. Alyssa, thank you for the dono. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for liking the stream. We almost equal viewers to likers, so I do appreciate that. We're almost there. Can we push it over? Can we push it over? More viewers, more likers than viewers? Because I know some people have left. They probably liked before they left. Because you all like the stream before you leave, right? 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 Mm-hmm. Taking this birch plank right here, we're going to be crafting up another shulker box. Right there. Boop. 
New storage room, please. This stores everything I need. I mean, look at my cobblestone storage. You think I need more storage space? I mean, it's almost a barrel full of shulker boxes. Tough down there. It's got so much space. My stone storage. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, texture pack is for paid supporters only. Uh, I do not plan to give it out for free. If you would like it, you can become a member. Thank you for your support and what I do. We did it. Yay. Oh, it's because some people left. But we actually broke 4,000 likes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> 20K more followers since your last bit. Almost one minute. I know. Yeah, it's it's going crazy right now. It slowed down a bit this week. That last hardcore episode 10 took off. Holy cow, that video did really well. I was not expecting that in the slightest. Uh, but that video, I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. Well, my friends. Now we mine. I should probably flatten this out first. How tall is this pile? I got no idea. I don't need all three of these shulker boxes. Or crafting benches. One stack of coal already. How long does the video take to edit? Each hardcore video is probably 60 hours in and out, which is why I'm only doing one every other week right now, because we got Afterlife going on too. Um, like building and editing. That The last two have taken a lot longer, I'll be honest, uh, because there's so much more going on. Afterlife videos, I probably put about 10 hours of Minecraft time into each of them, and then uh, I pay somebody to edit it, so hopefully it doesn't take them 10 hours. So those are shorter, but I doing multiplayer content, I realize I want to do it more for the story and having fun with people, doing stuff in there where this is the world where I really like to like push the builds and really just like take things to the extreme. I'll still do big builds and everything on Afterlife. Like I'm really excited. Next episode, I want to get my first shop set up so I can start making some daimundos and having something that I can actually trade with people because right now I'm kind of scraping by with not very much. Do a stream for only mining for diamonds. I've been wanting to do that. I think when I start working towards a diamond beacon and netherite beacons and all those, we're going to stream that. 10 hours into 20 minutes. Yeah. That's welcome to being a Minecraft YouTuber. The old form of Minecraft content, the 15 minute let's play, where you do like 30 minutes of gameplay, cut it into 15 minutes of your quote, best bits and upload that is gone. It's hard gone. To be a Minecraft YouTuber nowadays, you gotta go to the extreme. Not to the extreme extreme, but you gotta do more. Whereas before when Minecraft was new, people just wanted to see people play in the game. Now in order to stand out, it's a lot about doing bigger stuff than other people or it's about like you have to have some unique thing about yourself if you have like a unique brand already you're fine you're good like you don't have to do much else because people already know what to expect for your content but when the 100 days trend took off that killed a lot of minecraft channels because they don't want to do the extra work there's a lot of um og creators that i know that are struggling now a lot for views, but they just haven't changed the style that they record in. And it shows, it really shows and it's unfortunate, but I also will say I'm happy about the change. I was working towards taking on bigger projects and then the 100 days stuff took off and I really like it. I really like where I'm at right now. I have so much fun with making these videos because I feel like I can put the polish on them that I want. And I can finally give myself being like, no, I have the creative freedom to do a video every other week because I now know that people like those bigger videos and are willing to wait for them. Hey, what's up, Mateo? How are you doing? I mean, tips for a hardcore world. Uh, take it slow. Take it very slow. 
that's the biggest one. Take your time to get yourself set up for success to not starve, to not die, get your prop four armor, get blast protection on one piece. When you get on Lytra, two pieces of blast protection is a must. Offhand the pick? Yeah, we can do that for now. You're right, you're right, we're safe. If I die, I blame you all. If I somehow die up here, it's your fault. Edda, thank you for the donut, I appreciate that. I got, I got you, I got you, I got it, yeah. Record how much experience you get from this. Well, we were at 80 levels when we started, right? 82 levels? But now we're putting a lot into the pickaxe, so who knows? Famous last words. Tez, don't you put that evil on me. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Honestly, great film back in the day. I don't think it holds up to um, current standards, though. Probably not. I don't think it's one that aged well. I don't think it's one that aged well. It was funny as a kid. Don't think it would last that well now. <laughs> when we uh, flew back from our mini vacation a little while back, I almost watched it on the plane and I was like, I don't think it's going to be that good. I don't think it's going to be as great as I think it will be. I'm around 70 plus days in my hardcore world. I'm too scared to go to the nether despite full enchanted diamond armor. Yeah, you just got to kind of take that plunge because you can't do anything to get yourself fire resist or anything beforehand. You get a totem, get golden apples and a totem, and then you got a lot of safety in there because if a totem pops now, since 116, you also get fire protection too. So lava won't be able to kill you if you're holding a totem. I might have to do some more testing on that because I thought that was the same too. I thought that was the case. And then I died in my hardcore world season one, literally to a creeper in my face while I had full health. So I had one piece blast prop four, full netherite armor, elytra equipped, prop four on the other two pieces. Boom, deado. Make sure I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any coal. <laughs> Bear with me as we go pick it all up. Cool. Let's put the blocks. I mean, might as well just store as I go. Y'all, yeah. what should I get for lunch today? Kind of want to order lunch, and it's almost noon. So I should probably order lunch sooner or later. Full prot gives 64% damage. Full blast prot gives 80% damage reduction against explosions. I think, but on hardcore, creepers hit harder. So, right? They do harder than hard difficulty. So, I don't know. It's always an interesting one. Chipotle? I was thinking of Chipotle. I was going to get po a Poke Bowl. That's my usual Wednesday lunch go-to. But the problem with that is uh, Sid took the car to work. So I don't have a car. I have a car to drive anywhere. I got an Uber Eats it. That's a sad life. McDonald's. McDonald's is one of those foods that like is good every once in a while. Mostly after a hangover, we all get them. And sometimes for me, it works. what works for me is a burger, fries, some chicken nuggies, and a coca-cola like I, that's the best way i can get like to function for the day is i i for me at least get that around like but uh first of all problems i it really is it's really struggling over here um but outside of that i find that like it's something that they use in the grease and everything there or, like how they cook it all but it makes me grumpy like i'll go from having a fantastic day go eat some mcdonald's and then i'm just like grumpy 
it tastes good but i just i don't know what it is i don't know i just like i don't feel good and i get grumpy from it how to get good armor early game villagers if you don't want to go mining for diamonds just live in a village get tool smiths armor smiths weapon smiths you got everything you ever need for the french fries there's a chain in the seattle area and many seattle locals are in chat right now called dicks burgers yes i know it's dicks you don't have to make funny jokes um but it's been around forever and they have the best french fries they are so good and that they mcdonald's french fries do not even compare There we go. Pickaxe repaired. Sweet. Put the totem back on. Cool. I refuse to lose any. Why don't you make a blaze farm? I have a blaze farm. Sushi. Sushi could be good. I feel like delivery sushi is always a risk, though. Or it's really expensive. Home cut style Belgian fry. I don't think I've ever had a traditional one. Have you tried Mr. Beast Burger? I haven't. I've heard it's not great. What's your render distance? I play on 32. Or I think I'm on 27 when I live stream. Makes it a little bit cleaner. But when I'm playing solo, I'm usually on 32. Gotta max that thing. Middle Eastern food? Yeah. I went to a Pakistani restaurant for the first time ever. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and it was delicious. I have a really hard time eating a lot of Middle Eastern foods because chickpeas and me do not agree. As much as I love hummus, I can't do it. It just, I don't know what it is, but it just, I don't, my body does not react well. Um, and I get really, really achy. So I, I don't, can't eat too much of it because a lot of Middle Eastern foods are really chickpea heavy and or uh, like hummus heavy and things like that. So I gotta be a little bit careful about them. But they are delicious. Let's call the please. We didn't lose any coal over the edge. We're good. What GPU do I have? Uh, I have a 3080 Ti. We ever released the pack you're using? It's available for members. I will not be giving it out for free. I can tell you that much. The light count, 4,400. I know we're a thousand above viewers now. I stop exploring and I start mining coal and everybody's just like, I'm out. Peace. How long have you played Minecraft? I started playing Minecraft about when horses released. Actually, pre-horse. Pre-horse era is when I started Minecraft. But I took a long break because I thought, I thought it was dumb. I'll be honest. Old school Minecraft looked awful. It played terribly. And it just like it. You could tell that the base game, it was there. It was there. It just needed polish that Notch could not give. It Mojang needed to be created and the other developers needed to be hired on for Minecraft to reach what it's at now. And I am very I will adamantly say that Notch, like, he created something cool, but he's not a good programmer at all. This so the game was so clunky. The lighting rendering was awful. The game just didn't look good. Um, so, all right, it's Minecraft about 1.7 is when Minecraft started to get good. You can, like, 1.7.10 was the first, like, really good version of Minecraft. 
And I will I really liked Minecraft after the combat changes came in. I know some people absolutely despise them and think they're the worst thing ever. Uh, Sheridan, I've answered that like 20 times this stream alone. And I'm pretty sure you've been asking the question many times. Why won't you give the texture back for free? Um, because people on the internet like to steal my stuff and repost it as if they made it. I used to give world downloads for free. I used to give my texture pack for free. I used to give all that stuff for free. Um, and then I found somebody got it on the Minecraft marketplace and posted it for like $9.99 and sold a few thousand copies of my texture pack. And so since then, I no longer give them out for free. I got that one taken down, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, there's I I do I don't do free stuff anymore. Yo, the free content y'all get is the videos. The videos are free. If you want any of the bonus stuff, I don't think it's a bad thing to say that it's behind a paywall. It keeps me more secure. It keeps me safer from other people stealing my stuff, which happens a lot. If you're a YouTuber and you're out here in the public eye and you give out free stuff, it doesn't matter how much you watermark it. People are still gonna steal it and re repost it any w which way they want. So if you don't agree with that, I do apologize, but I am not changing. You can blame the rest of the internet. Don't blame me. Even my videos get reposted all the time. There's somebody on Facebook who reposts my videos within minutes of me posting them. Uh, and they get like hundreds of thousands of views, but Facebook won't delete the account. They won't even copyright strike them. Facebook's copyright system, a little tangent here. Uh, is the worst in the entire world. In order for me to put a copyright strike on that channel, I have to give them my real name, uh, first and last name, full contact information, my phone number, my email, and my address where I live to even start the process of pushing a copyright claim. And the worst part about that is Facebook says, yeah, we're gonna give that to the person that you're trying to copyright claim. We're gonna give them that information. Like this person is already out there stealing my stuff. And in order to get them to not steal my stuff, I have to give them my full real name and address for where I live. Can you tell me how that's at all safe for creators to go through and be like, hey, I'd like to protect my work against this person who's stealing from me. Then Facebook's just like, yeah, 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 that's fine. Just give them every personal information about yourself so that they can find you IRL. And don't worry, they probably won't leak that. What? <laughs> no. So I've just resorted to putting my name in my videos more often. That's If you see me mentioning, like, talking in third person of, like, saying FWIP more often in my videos, it's because so many people steal them and repost them all over the place. And so even like the hey folks flip here at the beginning, people just cut that out. They cut that first sentence out and then post the video. So that's why I put my name on other things throughout the video. So that like my face is in there and me is in there um, as we're going. And that's the only way I found that I can kind of protect myself because the more I mention my name, the less likely people actually re-upload it because it's obviously not them when their name is something completely different. Yeah, Facebook does that on purpose. One, because it's like you have to do the same thing on YouTube, but YouTube won't give them that information until they've investigated it themselves and then figured out if it's something that's even worthwhile. YouTube at least like has people that will go through and be like, yeah, you're right. This is stolen content. We'll just delete it. Like we can see clearly you upload it on your channel first and then they uploaded it. Facebook's just like, nah, we'll let the creators deal with it between themselves. Is that why YouTubers use the third person cam so much? Uh, third person cam, like if you're talking about like this, I mean, that's just kind of a nice way that we can talk to the audience and have like a little different camera angle. But if you see YouTubers like mentioning their names a lot in videos, that's a lot of why. It's a big reason why. You make an upgrade to your castle on the hill, that big boy over there. I do kind of want to grow it eventually, but I also like the size of it because I think it'd be better to leave that as is and do a new castle. After we get the Giga Tree, 
Omega tree. Oh wait, now I miss y'all. Uh, <laughs> after we get the tree done, I kind of want to build a palace. I've never built a palace before. Like something that's... I always build castles that are pure for like the fancy. They're purely the fancy aspect. I think building a palace could be really fun. Like something... Or sorry, the castles I build are purely for like defensive reasoning. And then like I put some nice little flower pots and planters around them to make them look more pretty. But I've never built like a full on just like royal palace that's not a castle. Like, you know, you get like the difference between the two. I think it'd be really fun. Favorite thing to build? I love building little farming villages. You should build a dwarven castle palace. Uh, the dwarves are going to kind of stay in their cave. Once we get that done, I'm checking dwarves off the list for now because I want to do other things in the world. <clears throat> but we'll see. How long does it take to plan out the builds for one hardcore world? Um, the village, like the town down there, and the nether portal that I did, I didn't do any building planning. I just built them on the whim. Especially the nether portal organics, I just kind of make up as I go. Um, but... When I was really setting the style for this world, like these houses up here, I did a lot of testing so that I could like incorporate new blocks and make sure it actually would work. So those those take like an, every time I do like a build before I log into the world, it's like an hour, hour and a half to see if I can like get something I like. Does Flip have merch? I don't right now. I had some merch um, and I shut it down. I, I closed the store because the um, company I was working with, I realized was uh, charging me so much money. I uh, lost money doing a merch run <laughs> because the company I worked with, I should have researched more. I should, it was my own, my own fault of going with that company. I, I trusted a recommendation from another group and I was just like, all right, it's fine. They're, they recommend working with them and I work with this group already. So let's see what happens here. And it was, all bad so I'm still working on even closing out with them now and trying to not have to pay them any money right now it looks like I owe them like $200 for them selling my merch they're basically keeping all of the profits off of the last round of merch that we did and they're saying it all comes up to operating costs and I should if I, I should have sold more copies and I should that I was just like, what? I mean, it's okay. There's all just problems. It's growth problems. I've grown a lot this year as a channel. I've grown this lo a lot this year as a creator. I really figured out a lot about how to do things, mostly from first learning how to not do things. And that's life. That's the life of owning your own business, um, which is what it is to be a YouTuber. You own your own business. You got to figure out things as you're going. And I've got a, I've got a positive outlook on it. I feel like this year... Last year was a year of learning, figuring out how to do things the way that is sustainable for me. And I'm really happy with where I'm at now. And I just know that I need to make smarter decisions moving forwards. So like I've, I've hired on somebody to be a business manager for me, who's just going to help like looking over contracts, doing a second set of eyes on them. And they're going to help kind of make sure that like, I'm not, those bad things aren't going to happen. And then they're also going to help me handle more of the stuff when it comes to like doing the merch stores and doing those things and potential brand deal stuff in there. And then I also hired on an editor to give me more free time back because last year I was on average working like 60 plus hours a week and that's not healthy. That's not sustainable. So I still don't know how I used to upload three series, three episodes a week. How I used to do three videos a week and stream nine hours a week. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. That was something that I don't think I could ever pull that together again. Doesn't matter how much caffeine I drink. That's just not good. I'm going to stop asking until we get one. Right, Liz, I'll, I'll see what we can do eventually. <laughs> Fuel. No, I haven't done a sponsor with them yet. No, I'm very picky about sponsors. I'm very picky about sponsorships I take because I don't want to flood you all with sponsors. But if I do do a sponsor deal, I want to make sure it's something that like 
is very applicable and something that actually would be good. I don't want to just shove a brand down your throat being like, hey, take this, take this deal, like buy this stuff or look at this stuff because I don't want to do that if it's something that's going to be kind of stupid, you know? Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost eleven stacks of blocks of coal off of this. <laughs> That's a lot of coal. That is a lot of coal. I almost did a deal with Raid Shadow Legends back in the day. And uh, they lied to me in the process to like onboard me and get me to a point where I would talk. I got into a call with them to talk about it. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only gonna have to do this, this, and this. And they, the original deal was me mentioning it on stream and like having some stuff in the stream for like chat lines. And then from there, it turned into once I got on the call with them, they are like, so you're going to play the game for two and a half hours minimum. And then also you're going to need to do an hour and a half minimum of your own stuff beforehand. And I was just like, no, like that was never the deal. And they're like, yes, that was the deal. I was like, show me in the contract where that was the deal. And I think it was like an agency working on behalf of them, just trying to get a deal out. So they're okay with lying. All right. There's our total coal count. So that's pretty good. So how much coal is this? One, two, three. So that's... So there's the double chest right there. Is those six stacks. I hope I have enough. So I need 64... 64 times six stacks. You think about Endolite mob farms? Oh, like what SB did? I don't think I'll ever do anything like that. I don't like to do those things where you bug the game to make it perma dark and then also bug the game to get little mini portals. You've been <clears throat> been scammed out of a lot of things. It's the life of it's the life of the internet nowadays, my friend. As a creator, you all would be surprised. I I will never take one of the I won't I shouldn't say never, but in its current state I won't, I don't plan on taking any deals with crypto or NFT based things. And I get like 30 emails a day from people saying, Hey, we want to advertise our NFT based video game on your channel a day. And I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating that at all. Like that is incoming emails per day. So is this enough? Is this enough? I don't think it's enough because there's one double chest. There's another double chest. And a double chest is 27, 54. So I have 54 stacks. Oh, gross. We're not even close. All right, I can do this the cheapo way. I can do this the cheapo way, which involves me taking a bunch of cobblestone and filling in some blanks. It should work, because otherwise it's just dummy coal being stored in there for no reason. Okay, that'll be fine. I'll figure that out. We did that. We did that. Okay. Uh, next, I wanted to go into the nether and start doing a bunch of stuff in there. But before we do that, I want to get some super shears because I want to get an enchanted unbreaking three mending shears because I think that'd be great. Uh, but I'm going to rest from real quick. So I'll be right back with y'all. Okay. Enjoy the share stream. Uh, actually, we're going to change up the music vibes. This music here is it's not it's not hidden anymore. I'm thinking I'm thinking I need a little something else. I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, chat? Beer bees. Oh, that didn't mute it.
Don't worry, I'm back. Also, chat, I need you all to test something for me. For anybody who's a member right now, I love you. You're great. You're fantastic. My stream deck's being weird. Uh, for, for anybody who's a member, there are two emotes that I uploaded that should be animated. There's like a flip pop and like a flip mining one. Can somebody try putting one of those in chat and let me, and I want to see if it actually comes out animated. YouTube's weird about allowing you to test your own emotes. So somebody can try that. There's like flip emotes. The one should be like a little like pop cat, cat thing, like a flip pop. No, they're not, they're not here. Why are they not going animated? Are those animated on your side? They're not. This is the break. Is it the pop one in there where it's just like, yeah, it's not going. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Hmm. Thank you for spamming them. I do appreciate y'all. Y'all are the best. Now I can actually see all the members in here. Oh, they're not animated at all. Bummer. Okay, I'll look into that. Catherine said she got to them to the point where they are animated. So I'll bug her. Sorry. Editor just got back to me, so I gotta check it. Like I'll respond to him real quick. Trying to get that video edited up for tomorrow. All right, before we get back into the 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 craze of super shears. By the way, super shears, big recommendation. Always have a super shears. I don't know why I don't have one yet, but you need one. Uh, I want to order lunch because I am getting hungry. And if I wait till after I stream, it's going to be a long time. Cuz I'm Are we chilling today, chat? Are we chilling? I'm having a good time streaming today. So I hope y'all are having a, a good day. Oh, there's a new one on Uber Eats called Good Burger. I always want to get Chick-fil-A, but I feel bad. Every time I eat it, I'm like, hmm, I feel a little bad eating this. I feel a little bad supporting this company. Sorry, I'm, I'm on my phone. I'll be, be with you all soon. This is super fun, actually. We're going to go into the nether and just, like, do a little chilling. Oh, the Pokey Place delivers? Oh. No, I've been craving Chipotle for days. We're doing Chipotle. Chipotle. What's that from? I can't remember. Every time I think of it. Lowest delivery fee options. I don't get why Chipotles are sometimes like, yeah, you can order from like these five locations. This one's $10. This one's $2. Of course, I'm doing the $2 one. Thank you very much. A burrito bowl. With steak. Yes. White rice. Actually, no, I like the brown rice. Brown rice. Brown rice. Brown rice. Brown rice. Um, black beans. Roasted chili corn salsa. Fresh tomato salsa. Fajita veggies. Romaine lettuce. Hmm. I can't do dairy, so, you know, I can't do any cheese. It's, it's quite sad. It's quite sad. Um, and then we're going to do chips. But I want it. Hmm. Okay, we got that. We got that. Sorry. Side of guac. I, I'm Dude, we're going big today. We're going big today. Y'all have been great, so I'm treating myself. I'm going to treat myself to some chips with a side of guacamole. Because that's... That's where we're at now. We're almost done. Oh, it's nighttime outside. That's scary. A zombie could break down my door. I have to order quick. Okay. Sorry. I'm doing the tip. I'm doing the tip. Question. Chat. Chat. Question for y'all. This is a big debate that we have. What do you tip if you're getting food delivery? Like uber eats or something like that what do you tip like what percentage do you tip they have like the options of like the 15 the 18 the 20 and the 25 what what tier do you click for your tip percentage for the driver i'm really curious i'm very curious the 15 to the 20 
Just like if you're feeling spicy, you'll do the 20. 10%, 20, 18, tip at least 20. See, for me, when I'm at a restaurant. Okay, okay, I see y'all, I see y'all. Oh, some people do the 25. I see, I see ya. For me, when I'm at a restaurant, I'm very big on like, I'll tip super well. If the waiter, waitress is like fantastic, like I will happily tip like 30%. Like I, no problem at all. Like they have made, they've added to the dinner experience. They've earned it. Like that's fantastic. Um, if they're just like doing the, their job, just like doing their stuff, they bring the food over, they're nice, they're pleasant, 20%, easy, guaranteed. Cause I know in Seattle, like a lot is based off of like tipping people well. Um, and like, that's how they make their money to survive. And I, I son support that. Um, I think even even if it's like a bad experience, I'm still like, all right, here's 15%. Here's 15%. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I've always been like on the driver's side. I don't, it, I've always been like, yeah, like a 15 to an 18. They're just like driving. I don't know. Drivers don't get a lot of tip off the app. They usually get, hand them $5 when they get to your house. Oh, that's good to know, Silver Wolf. I appreciate that. I, w I was unsure if the apps took a cut of their tip, which I, in a restaurant, that's illegal, isn't it? Like if you're not a server, like managers aren't allowed to take from the tip pool unless they're served in, right? Isn't that like a legal thing? At least in the US. Um, I don't know why I'm using broken shears to make it my super shears. We're gonna get new shears. These shears are better. Okay, chat, let's go make some super shears. It's probably Oliver. Thank you for Oliver. Okay, I thought Oliver was gone. I thought Oliver was gone. I was scared. I got this guy here too. He's new. I found him on the mountain. Uh, he needs a name. They need a name. Could be a she. Have an ask. Restaurants have no claim on any tips. Yeah, the restaurant and like restaurant managements can't tip. Yeah, my brother works as a server at a brewery restaurant type thingy, bar, I guess. And he was saying he loves when people tip cash because like you can kind of just walk away with it typically and you can keep more of it instead of having to do like the whole taxi shebang, everything like that. So we just try and do cash. I just never have cash on me. Just cash is like the last thing I remember to carry. Unless I need cash for something specific, I just never even think about having it. Oh, Unbreaking 3. Okay, so we just need a mending book. Mending, perfect. Thank you. Don't need that, don't need you. And then we go in here. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> My anvil. What am I gonna do now? To go back up to the surface? Ow. Thank you. I appreciate all your input on that. I always like hearing what other people have to say, because I know tipping around the world. This is not me at all trying to get you to tip me here, by the way. This is purely off of food care food service industry based things um but i know in some cultures like tipping is actually considered rude because you're making the assumption that the restaurant doesn't pay their workers a living wage but like in the u.s it's very much like if you don't tip it's rude because it's expected because the restaurants don't pay them a living wage so it's i always find it very interesting kind of reading between the lines and seeing where everything goes Okay, we got our super shears now. They are ready to rock. Now we fly into the cave. Whee! Nether portal. It's so fun. Every time, every time. I, I like to walk through this. I'm still, it's still settling in. It's still settling in. This is, for those who missed the last video, what are you doing? Here, go watch the video. Leave a like on it. Subscribe. Thank you, Lily for becoming a member you're amazing thank you i added a bunch of glow lichen down inside the glass because you can't really see it too well but it adds a cool little ominous -y glow especially underneath here i think it worked out really well i love the glass the glass is really fun i want to do more stuff like this archway here where the archway like 
you can see the archway. Um, I guess I can walk right up over on that side. But where the archway just like disappears into the fog, I think is so cool. I love it. What got you into YouTube? I just love building in Minecraft and I wanted to, I honestly, oh geez, hi. The honest reason I got into YouTube is I wanted an excuse to play more Minecraft. I thought that if I had a reason to upload Minecraft videos that like could potentially have viewership and an audience and like contribute even a hundred dollars a month in revenue for me, like it made sense for me to play video games. Like it made sense to me as being more of an adult to like spend time playing video games outside of just like leisure stuff. Cause I always love video games. I think I've always been a huge gamer and I will always continue to be a huge gamer. It's like a huge portion of my life uh, that I just love. I just love the storytelling. I love all the stuff. Where's the warp force? It's not over here. That's for sure. Oh my Lord. I've n I'm gonna get lost out here. Workforce. I'm not lost at all. This is definitely a different workforce than I remember. I want to find some twisting vines because we haven't found many of those yet. So I want to get some of those. I wanted to get a bunch of these little dudes. I guess I can also put efficiency on the shears now, too. You can do that in this newer update. I gotta get those. But today, we at least have the Unbreaking 3 Mending Shears. Karma, thank you for the donut. I appreciate that. Fair, that's fair. I understand that side of it too. Why are you in a workforce? <laughs> I always think it's more on like the amount of time that the whoever is working has to put into it. But also like when it comes to tipping and things like that, like that's supposed to, oh, I understand it, go to like the server. Like the chefs and the cooks are all like paid differently. I don't, it's some restaurants give them a portion of the pool, but not all. So it's interesting. Cause like if it's just more cooking time, oh, this is the warp force that we have found. Cause I've torn all this up. So it's always an interesting one. It's a cool topic. I, it's a fun discussion I like to have with like friends every once in a while as if I'm trying to like figure out things or just like kind of gauge their understanding of stuff. I think it's a, it's one of the few debates you can have nowadays where I think there's no like real wrong answer as far as like people can give like a reasoning behind it or like a reasoning why culturally from what they're used to, like you don't do it. Like there's always a reasoning for it, um, but on both sides. So I think it's, I think it's cool. It's a good one to have. Yeah, delivery orders, I think it's fair to have a flat tip amount. That's totally fine. If you're going to go like to a five-star restaurant and be like, here's $10, the waiter would probably look at you funny. All right, I really wanted a lot of these twisting vines, so. I think if I silk touch them, I get more, right? Yeah, because that gave three. I think the silk touch carries throughout all of it. I really want a lot of these. I love these things. I've seen Vigo, as I mentioned, just use them as a different type of plant. I think they could work really well as like a cave plant inside of the dwarven area. So I want to start making these little like mossy beaches of sorts, like mossy cobblestone and just moss itself on the edge of like the water that we have down there. So I thought these could work out really well. I definitely need to find more of those twisting vines, though. I have to get ready for work now. Oh, no. I have 
fun at work. Hope the work day goes by quickly. All right, I think the plan is we stream until the Chipotle gets here. 40 minutes out. Okay, I think that's enough of all of these. Yeah, that's a few stacks of each. I don't have much storage space. <laughs> I'm trying to get better about not over gathering things as I'm gathering more. And just gathering what I need using that. And then if I need more, I can come back and gather more, you know? So I find otherwise my storage rooms just get full of so much junk. It's all stuff that I'm like, I could maybe use it later. Like, I gathered it. I shouldn't just throw it away, right? And then it's there forever. All the other cat Ross. Could be. Could be a Ross. I love that cats just get such generic names. Like, I guess a lot of dogs will have gen pretty generic names, too. But for the most part, it's... I feel like cats more commonly have just like, yeah, this is Fred. That being said, we almost adopted a husky named Fred a while ago. But also huskies are the cats of the dog world. To some. I do wish this warp stuff would just like fade. You didn't have to break it yourself. Or it would break faster. Like these things. I hate those. Okay. How much is that? That's a little over a stack. Let's do another stack here. I've been running out of this and I've been really liking using it in the roofs. It's a good alternate to copper, I find. It's a good way to like blend like the full oxidized copper into something that still works well, which has that little bit of a different color. What time did the stream start? Uh, two hours ago. This is a long stream today, actually. Usually don't stream this long. I've been really enjoying streams recently, though. I know I I know I don't do them that often. I I want to I want to stick to one a week because otherwise I find my voice is just gone. Um. But I've been really enjoying them when they do happen. I've been having a really good time hanging out with y'all. So I do appreciate y'all taking the time to be here. We're also almost at 5,000 likes. So y'all are insane. So thank you. Now over here. Let's just get... Just one more stack. Just always just one more stack. Just one more. Oh, man. What happened after you died in Second Life? I don't have a series called Second Life. You mean Afterlife? Uh, video will be out tomorrow. Oh, this is a big boy. Next Afterlife video is going to be live tomorrow. I hope. I, I wish there was a way to grow these. Like, if there's a way to grow this type of a warped tree, where it's just like... Just def what is that? Five blocks going up, if not more. Like, that would be fantastic. That'd be so easy to get warp wood. I would use it so much more often. But I, I don't like gathering warp wood. I hate making the overworld farms because then you have to chop down all of the hyphae stuff on the top. But it's one of my favorite woods. I just never use it. I want to use crimson more. I want to use warped more. I want to figure out how to use nether bricks. I think I'm going to try experimenting it with a new build because I kind of forget they exist. And then I always look at them and be like, maroon? Maroon might work, but it's kind of a pain. 
You can instant mine the warp block. Yeah, you can, but it's still just a pain to have to take it down. Whoa. Can those grow there? Normal? I guess. have now 44 that's enough to start like a little growing place in the overworld right i think you hate birch birch is a great block unstripped birch is great for trees stripped birch is great for buildings i think right over here yeah, there's the blaze farm. Okay. I was like, I think I'm pretty close to it. Such a satisfying sound. Whoever the sound designer behind Bone Blocks was, excellent job. I see why Flip and Jem are friends now. I mean, why we're friends now. We've always been friends. It's gold. I need that gold. Oh, the skeleton disappeared. Okay. Also, so many people, I just want to point this out right now and say you are wrong. So many people told me in the comments of the last video that I should have fortuned the gold. Like, I gathered all that nether gold and just smelted it as is. So I tried that for this next video because I needed more gold, as always, apparently. I really should just make a gold farm soon. And I tried the smelting it thing, or the fortuning it, and I lost five gold. I went in with 30-something blocks of nether gold and I came out with 28 so just saying it's wrong I'm sorry I'm just getting these bone blocks because my bone meal farm sucks I need a new one I think I want to get a cactus based bone meal farm just like a massive one I think it'd be the best way to get an unlimited supply of bone meal at least for now <laughs> Okay, I give up. But I think a ca I think cactus is it's a good pretty it's pretty reliable, and there's no loss. Or like there's no there's no price to it. It just grows and does. I don't think it gives the most. But if we were to get like a ten layer cactus farm, I think it works in spawn chunks too. It'd probably be pumping out bone meal like crazy. Spruce is the best. I mean spruce is the best. Gold, 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 gold. I should come out over here. Why I was getting gold in the other places, I was just tiny. This is so wide open. Slowly I will get the gold that I need. I don't need that. If imagine if there's just another fortress right here in the center. Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> Honestly, this right here wouldn't be the worst to clear out. For another fortress? Like Soul Sand Valleys aren't that hard. But I guess the farm would have to be back there because you need a crossing. So this wouldn't work at all for a good farm because you have to build it around a crossing, so. 
I want to use another fortress that's like close to spawn. Checking. Checking. Build a fortress. I think it could be fun to build a nethery stuff. The problem with building nether stuff is if you want to make a fortress or you want to make a like a um, bastion, they're so dark. Like it's made out of nether bricks and blackstone, which is just so very dark. I think the fortress farm, to be honest, it's like this is our entrance. It's got to be this fortress right back here, right? this fortress back here is it's a lot of land to clear out but like if we did just the radius and created a perimeter farm that wouldn't be too bad wouldn't be too bad do like a circle radius perimeter farm and just like cut it all down to lava and only that area is spawnable like that wouldn't be terrible we'll see future foot problems Future foot problems. Once we decide to get into TNT farms, that's when those things will get going. That's when the game starts. Um, I, for me, I'm assuming you mean beat the Ender Dragon. So if you haven't yet, go like end rating and all that. Get your end stiff. Because I think that's really fun. Uh, in like a good way to go but at that point the whole world's your oyster if you're single player kind of what you got left is you can explore more and go do more stuff and collect rare things you can it's okay being a beginner builder you just got to find something that you love doing and I think that's a really cool thing honestly being newer to building because when you look at stuff like what b-dubs did in his building with b-dubs series like over the years you can see how he grew as a person and as a builder and all that stuff and i think it's fun i think that's a cool way to go for him that like you can clearly see like how he grew as a minecraft builder and like a creator and all that just like just by watching him build and do stuff in the game so it could be something you do there and you just like make new towns and new bases as you go along like one in each biome type thing um so that's always an option but really sorry my back is really itchy you can always start your little technical farms. I think that's kind of fun. That's something that I'm really getting into recently. Um, that I'm having a lot of fun with. Sorry. I was checking the Uber Eats order. And it looked like he was here already. And I was like, I was really quick. He's supposed to be here in like 20 minutes. But okay. Uh, next thing I want to fix up though. Is I need some Oak Reeves. And this has been something that's been bothering me for a long time. I want to get some moss, mossy carpet. And I want to get a little glow lichen. I believe I have some. Oh, you know what? I put it in here. Scroll wheel, please. And that should be good. I also want some sweet berries, but I don't think I have any. We get a few flowers. Maybe we'll use some rose bushes. Bring some bone meal. Just a few. Your Minecraft house got struck by lightning. Ouch. Ouchies. Okay, so what I want to do next is there's a little place right down here that's just been bugging me. It's not something I'm going to turn into a field because it's too steep, but this right here. It's just been bugging the heck out of me that it's just sitting here doing nothing. It's just like a weird in between of land that I left open. So I wanted to bring in a few little bits of moss around here. And then we'll do just like a few little tiny things like this. Cause it honestly, like this alone should almost mob proof it. And then maybe we can do like another back here. Who started last life? I don't know, I'm not a part of last life. I'm assuming Green started last life because he started third life. Um, Afterlife, Scott started. I know many life space names in the series. We're all very unique with how we name our series.
I like I don't want this to be too chaotic and covered in bushes, but I literally think just like something like this to make it seem like there's something going on, you know? Actually, maybe we don't need one there. This is where we can start incorporating the rose bushes. Just, just a few. Just literally just a few. Making it seem like there's some floweriness. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks okay. Now if we fly away, it'll at least give that area a little bit of a blend. Because before it just looked so off. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because this section over here, I think I'm going to smooth and put a field on it eventually. Because I kind of carved it back so I could put that original cow pen in there. So I think I'll undo that eventually. But I don't need another field for this episode. I already did it. So we can leave it and forget about it for later. I want I want to bring like more stuff down here so I want to smooth all this out and get like a good slope rocking down to here like smooth that out to up to here and then this will probably be a little bit of a flatter area maybe put a house or two in there It'll be fine Still good stuff 5k likes we did it wow wow also this is very quickly becoming one of my favorite spots this little section I know we didn't do much we literally did the bare minimum um but this right in here just i love this i don't know why but this view every time i walk through here like i love this region this is so good i knew i liked it but i think it's because this is new i just walk through here and i think it's the grass and the custom trees over here it just bam it's just so much different than it was before it's, I also love the little yellow flowers we got in there. It's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's been fun putting all like the moss on the edges here. There we go. We'll do that. View is beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been I've been digging, digging the world recently. Come over here, get rid of some of the taller boys. Okay, there's that. Just I've, I'm relearning. That just having tall grass in an area is good. Just instead of flat Minecraft land, just bone meal a touch. Just do a little bit of bone meal, break the flowers down, and then like put them in a little bunch like this. And you get a mm, so good, so good. And we can also do a little cropping of like the these little red guys. We can also bone meal around it, get rid of a bunch of the tall. And like farther in the back, we can let the taller guys stick up. Get rid of some flowers so it's just grassy bits. I, flower spam can be bad. But if you do little bunches of flowers, here's your build tip for the day. Little bunches of flowers looks a lot better than just random flowers all over the place. Pro tip. Like, look at this now. Like that right there is so much better than it was before. And all we did... I don't like that. All we did was add a little bit of tall grass. Make a massive skeleton to surround a new bone meal farm. I don't know if that's my vibe. I don't really know if that's my vibe. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be fine. Yeah. Who's your favorite builder on YouTube? Myself. Um, 
the people I get the most inspiration from, just because I'm kind of like casually looking at building stuff, is I always really like how Sausage builds his stuff. He's very, very talented. He always, for being able to wing it on everything he does, he always has a very consistent style across the board, which I really like. Um, that just, it works together. It works together really well. Um, Pearlescent Moon, if you just want to be blown away by really, really high quality builds, everything she builds is fantastic. Uh, Gem is a really talented builder. Joel is super talented. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the most, like most of the people that I really look at a lot for big build and stuff. At least of the group of people I play with a lot. Sausage just kind of wings it every time he does it. Even his tutorials, he builds them as he's recording. That portal room was seven layers of glass, I think. Do a tutorial around the sheep farm? I've thought about doing one of those. It's been kind of too far long that I don't remember how I built it. <laughs> to be honest. Um... Because it's a big boy. <laughs> it's a very big boy. <laughs> the sheep farm, very big. Anyone know their channels? Uh, go to one of my Afterlife videos and look in the description. They're all down there. Yeah, Pixel Riffs, honestly, very talented. Grian's build. Grian's a really good builder, too. He's really stepped it up recently, too. He's taken a lot more time to, like, plan and learn. Not learn, but, like, plan out the builds. Grian's very talented, but... Uh, now that he's like taking the time to like plan them all out before he does them, they're really, really good. I'm always impressed by his ability to just like take a build and simplify it a bunch so that it's very approachable for everybody, which I think is really cool and really hard to do. From personal experience. Oh, I broke that torch again, didn't I? Oh, the I was just wanting to check the shears. Make sure they okay, you know? But it's a lot harder than you think to make something more simple. He Grian's has a great way of building like those comical looking builds too, like uh, the Mumbot and things like that from uh, what was that season six, season seven? I don't even remember. Uh, but like those are, he, I really like those builds that he does. They're really really cool. Terracotta Palace and Empires. That was Joel. Smallish beans. The Mazalian Palace. Yeah, Joel is really talented. He's really, really good at building. His ability to grind and do, like, the massive builds is impressive. He just, like, constantly puts out the really, really big ones. What about Scar? Scar is super talented. Scar creates art. <laughs> Straight up just creates art every time he builds. Okay. Um, those shears do not last very long at all, which is unfortunate. Super shears. They really need to have more durability on them. It's really unfortunate how little durability shears have. Like, can we just make netherite shears? Netherite shears, please. Also, netherite elytra. Armored elytra. Let's do it. Oh, I know what we can do. I'm going to relog because I think I had a replay mod in there that I need to do. going on in chat right now please don't be rude peoples you make a butchery or a forge and then have an alleyway that's blocked with a stack of wood to fuel a furnace yeah it's very specific but yeah next i think we just chop some oak trees we gotta break all these down this is all of my uh wood that I use just for <laughs> random crafting things now. Now that I'm not building the mega tree out of uh, oak wood, I'm just kind of like casually gathering this up as I go whenever I need something. Like if I need more chests, I just came over here and one of those double chests is completely full of oak logs. Just grabbed them all over there. So it's not that these resources are being wasted. Honestly, they're being used very well. 
We're spending less time gathering things because we spent so long gathering oak wood a while ago. That's what I'm thinking. So will you join Hermitcraft bot? That would be uh, impressive. I, I hope that's not the case. Have you ever played Subnautica? I have not. I've always been interested by the game. But I've never been interested enough to pick it up. If that makes sense. I always, I always get interested in Subnautica when it's like not a popular game. Like when it's kind of in between its phases. And then I'm always just like, I'll pick it up next time it's popular maybe. And I'll stream it. And I just never do. Please make a clock tower. Eventually we'll have something like that. Eventually. I want to get a little bit more of the city established first. I decided last night what one thing I want to do with the city is making like very established almost neighborhood sections so that like I want the city to still blend, but I want like maybe you'll walk down a street and it'll be like diorite alley or like white. It'll be like a bunch of whitewashed builds so like diorites and calcites and con white concrete. So it's like themed neighborhoods still within the same build style and palettes that everywhere else exists so like it's not completely abstract and it still like makes sense but gives a little bit more flavor instead of all the buildings just feeling very consistent across the board i thought it could be fun to do like some themed areas because that can include like birch that can include like smooth sandstone and the lighter toned ones and then we could have like a dark alley with like deep slates and dark oak woods and stuff like that could be fun what time is it for me uh it's almost 1 1 p.m we've been on the grind for a while oh you live in the castle or build a bigger storage room there it's not really central I kind of built the castle off to the side as a way to like be a guard over that valley, mostly because I thought the valley would look really cool with the bridge across of it, across it. And so in order to build the bridge, I had to have stuff on the side. So I built the castle. Yeah, that was my thought process. I know it's dumb, <laughs> but that's what I did. Yeah, this is all my oak wood I've left for crafting things as I go. Do you stream on Twitch? Not anymore. I used to stream on Twitch, but I found for the way that I want to do content, content moving forwards, YouTube was just a healthier point for me. I didn't stream on Twitch enough. I, I have a whole video on my second channel about it, but the the general consensus is I'm a I want to be a you I want to be a video creator. I don't want to be a Twitch streamer. So I really like the ability to just edit and record my videos and stream when I want type stuff instead of feeling like I need to be live all the time. So with the little amount of time that I spend live streaming. I, my channel was not growing by being on Twitch. The only growth I was getting on Twitch was people coming to me on YouTube and saying, oh, he also has a Twitch. I'll go check him out there, which is a very small portion of my audience. So like Twitch streams averaged at peaks, peaks of Twitch streams. Like when Empires was huge, I was getting 1500 viewers. A bad day here on YouTube is starting with 3000. <laughs> not a bad day, but like a, a slower day, I should say. So like that, my audience is here and that's cool. That's awesome. So it's, it's it makes more sense for me to go where my audience is, right? I know some people did not like the move over to YouTube because YouTube chat is a little bit more insane with people saying spam. Um, yeah, streaming full time is a lot of effort. 
on Twitch right now because there's no way to find channels unless they're live. And the only way to find a channel if it's live is if it has a high viewer count or you have to specifically go and look for small viewer channels or you hear it through word of mouth, which usually comes from small channels supporting other small channels. Uh, so it doesn't happen all that often. Dogs are gonna start barking in a second, but my food is here. My Chipotle. Let's finish this last little row of trees. And we'll ch I think that'll, that'll be it for the day. 3,000 is slow, meaning while we're at two. Yeah, well, we peaked today. You gotta remember, like, streams on. Streams, the longer you stream, the lower viewer count you usually have. It's typically how it goes. Um. And we peaked today at almost 5,000 people. So, like, we were up there. We, I think we had, like, 4,400 was the highest viewer count I saw when I looked over to the side. So, that's pretty good to me. That's pretty good to me. It's definitely dark. I'd like to sleep, please. I think I got the mute on there. Why shears over netherite hoe? I have netherite hoe too, but shears you need for tall grass and vines and things. Netherite hoes do not work for those. Even if you have silk touch on it. So if you want to collect like tall grass or ferns or anything like that, you got to go get uh, shears. Is there a build style you really dislike? I don't dislike any build style in particular maybe over industrial like where you just it's only technical looking stuff like i just it's not the way i like to play the game like i like technical stuff obviously i build big farms but i try and hide them as much as i can or i put them in an area where i designate as technical land that is meant to look ugly uh, the build styles I don't enjoy building, though. I would say I don't enjoy building modern or, like, suburban styles. Anything that's, like, a... Anything that you would see, like, a modern-day environment of, like, what we see today. I'll do sci-fi every once in a while if I'm feeling up to it. But... For the most part, it's not my favorite thing. And then... Um, yeah. It's not that I don't like them, though. I think they look fantastic. I think modern houses look really cool. Like, Corrales' base he's got going on in the new Hermitcraft season. It's very cool. I love that stuff. I just don't like the grind. The blocks that go into those builds typically are concrete heavy, and I just don't enjoy gathering those blocks. So I'd rather work with something that I enjoy getting. Which, it's for some reason, I'd rather chop trees for hours than spend any time gathering concrete i don't know why but it is what it is i just don't enjoy that you have to craft concrete powder then you have to place it down to convert it into concrete and then you have to mine it back up or you have to make a whole tnt mining system so that you can get it and it, to me it's just it's too much effort <laughs> it's too much time on that as i've mined 4,000 obsidian in this world to make a gas farm and another portal i don't know I don't know. I don't have a great reasoning behind that. It's also, it's very big blocky shapes. I don't enjoy blocky shapes. My brain doesn't work well with big blocky shapes. My brain works well with more sporadic shapes like I do a lot. I, the reason why I do a lot of diagonals is because my brain works better that way. Okay, you said Hermitcraft. Are you joining? Dude, Minecraft creator said, said that H word. They said the Hermitcraft word. They have to be joining. Oh my god. Ah, panic. Everybody panic. Sound the alarms. Gondor calls for aid. Alright. That is pretty good on these trees. If there's any other logs up here, I'll get them later. Unless there's one. I thought there'd be one up here. Two. Yeah. There 
got to be another log in here somewhere, right? Uh, yes. And then there's one right there. You create con cut concrete in a stone cutter. Yeah, it would be cool. That would be cool to be able to make concrete stairs and slabs. I would use the blocks a lot more. Unless they have a good texture to them. I don't really use them if they're a full block only. Like I, I like working with textured blocks if they're full. So like a tough or something like that. Or a dripstone that just works well with everything else. Co problem with concrete is they're so vibrant. So when you're building like a more medieval-y fantasy world like what I do, you don't want big vibrant things because they stand out a lot. But you know what, my friends, before it gets too late and my food is sitting outside getting cold, I think I'm going to be jumping out of here for the day. Thank you all so very much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you all so very much for the insane donations and everything like that throughout the stream. I really do appreciate it. All the new members, y'all are amazing. New subscribers, y'all are amazing as well. I really do appreciate every single one of you stopping by on the stream. Uh, we made it up to 945. 116 we got over 600 subs today on the stream alone that is absolutely amazing but i'm out of here for now thank you so very much like the stream if you haven't new video dropping tomorrow y'all are amazing have a great day be good do good things love you all thank you so very much like and subscribe goodbye